Fuck we you. To we told you not to wear green, asshole. God damn it, Michael. <laughs> it's like the one rule. Welcome to the internet, boy. Ah! <laughs> uh, hey, yo. Hey, everybody. This is the internet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't reveal our secrets. They must never know. They will never know. Finally, you come mean. here. Yeah, so we got a cat that's kind of running around at our feet. Finally, so come here. Be ready really? for that. You see this? Huh? No, see she this? doesn't actually. Oh, 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 there she oh, goes. Look at this. Oh. Star she blows. Star she blows. Violet, check this out. Here, do you want this? <laughs> so, Violet is Dan's replacement. Oh my goodness. She's the newest cat. She's, she's really, lie. she's really nuts. <gasps> carbs! Hey, hey carbs! What up? Over here. Yo, yo. Over here, you. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Oh, I should have brought my yo, yo. I could do <gasps> some tricks. There you go. You got a cat. Oh, she's crazy. And she's gone. Yeah, we're not going to be able to keep her attention for more no. than a couple seconds. <laughs> You're crazy. How's it going, Carbs? How's what's it up, hanging? What's up? This is our second annual cozy stream. Yes, second annual. What? When was the first one? Was it around this time? No, it was way before. Yeah. It was like close. It was in October, right? Uh, it was like before we knew that we could do other things on Twitch other than improv. <laughs> Which, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. It's like farther before. Yeah, it October must have been then. like summer or something. Yeah. It would have been, because we started in April, so it probably would have been in, like, June or July. Yeah, it was... Yeah. Yeah, it was somewhere in, like, the late summer. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. got it, yo-yo. Interesting. Can you, uh... What kind of yo-yo do you use, Cozy Carbs? Stream. Do you use, like, a butterfly that sleeps a lot, and you do, like, sleeper tricks, or do you do... Because I, I personally... Wow, Dan, when you leave, the whole green screen just goes green. That's because <laughs> it, 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 needs it needs you. It needs you. Um, I, I mostly, pss, pss, I, I don't, I've, I've never, well, I've never really had uh, like a butterfly of a yo-yo and do like sleeper tricks. So a lot of the tricks that I do are just high velocity. High velocity, high, high octane. octane yo yo <laughs> It sounds like, it definitely sounds like a, um, uh, like your YouTube video you made yeah. when you were 13. <laughs> Welcome have, like, to my high octane yo-yo tricks. And you have yeah. like what's uh what's the montage video that you or the music that you would have playing? Oh wow. shoot! I mean, it's <laughs> got to be some kind of like Linkin Park or oh uh, yeah probably Link One Eighty Two. Wake something, me right? up! Wake yeah. me up! It's Pamela. Uh, uh, what if you just what if you just I down? I can't tell you how quickly I click off of a video if it's like an instructional video or so like if I'm trying to look up how to do something. And I click on the video, and it starts blasting like metal music at me or something. I'm like, no, I will find someone else you to know, teach me. You know how uh, when someone's making a really legit how-to video on like a computer, when they pull up the notes box and they start writing yeah. <laughs> instead of talking into a mic. Yeah, that's when you know you have a premium. Well, yeah, because <laughs> they're so focused on their craft that they right. don't yeah. need audio. Yeah. yeah, they don't need anything else. Well, it was also back in the day when computers didn't come with mics built Ugh. into them. Mics yeah. and cameras. Yeah. Oh. Where are you going by? Oh, that's but Yeah, maybe the actual... Right hey, Michael she part. bumps the mic, she bumps the mic. That's true. Hey, Kath! Hey, oh. Bump that mic! Bump that mic! Bump uh -oh. that mic inside! <laughs> <laughs> A new drawing tablet! Doing some more sick drawings. Oh, good. Hell yeah, good, carbs. Good, good, good. Because it broke, right? And that's why you were not doing drawing before, or recently. You're just rubbing your tail against the mic. Wait, how right recently mic. was that? I felt like I was at a drawing stream of yours not that long ago. Come here. I just remember Kat. Um, <laughs> He's just right next to the mic. Um, <laughs> the, new, the new microphone. Uh... She just wants the spring. Just yeah, for those of you that don't know, Carbs does occasionally stream art. Oh, yeah, you so should definitely go check out Carbs. Um, Jesus. <laughs> it did break? That must have been recent then, right? That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you got an upgrade, though. Upgrade. Ha! I got the bad news at the same time as the good news. <laughs> so for me, it's all good. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. <laughs> a bit over a week. Oops. Well, that's a week I've That's been blissfully us. unaware. What are you doing? 
Um, I'm given a. He's given a shout out to yeah. Carbs. Oh. There we go. Through thy phone. See. Oh. oh. Technology. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> yeah, Carbs does milk. Um, art. Yeah. I was about to say Carbs does milk. Carbs does milk. Carb art does milk. I actually got in a conversation with my coworkers today about milk and how much I drink it. Okay. Which is a lot. Yes. <laughs> I what, was what, like, was the, what was the conversation? Uh, someone, someone brought up milk. I, like, I joined the meeting and they were talking oh, about yeah, it. Oh, yeah, somebody else brought so, up milk. It's true. I, and then I was like, well, I obviously need to be a part of this conversation. Um, so yeah, like they, someone was talking about milk and I was like, yeah, I drink a lot of milk. I go through about a gallon a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I drink a lot <laughs> everyone, of milk, big. Everyone was like, a gallon a week? Jesus, Alex. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. Thoughts on milk percent? I'm fine with anything two or above. Didn't we talk we, about Yeah, we just we had have this conversation about this, yeah. on, our, on our Friday. But we will talk about I grew it up. I grew up in a 2% household, um, but I'm- oh, scoop. Hey Scoop, 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 I disagree with you. Uh, <laughs> it's I don't I don't get it's like it's literally per, personal preference. Like yeah, people that's are the saying, thing. and then it's like, oh, it, Skim, well, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's in the same vein as anyone who's like a fan of anything. You know, like we just gotta understand. People. Like it's not a genuine <laughs> hatred. It's just a fun sportsman like fuck you. The fun the, the fact that there even is fun hatred I think is concerning. I think not to say I don't partake in it, but just like in, <laughs> theory, in theory, right? Right. Well, I, fun hatred isn't real hatred. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Kath, I do sometimes call people milk drinkers as an insult, but not because I think drinking milk is like emasculine, it's because I'm vegan. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I, I take like it as a compliment, milk. though. Yeah, always have. So you got so tall. It's uh, that's what I say. That's what I tell people. They're like, oh, you drink so much milk. I'm like, yeah, and I'm six three. What about it? <laughs> and then you dunk on them, and then they go, <laughs> yeah. they go crying to their mom. I, I have you, a basketball with me at all up. times. Yeah. I just like. Like, you know where you go, like, over them right. and just dunk well, on them? Well, you need to set up your mobile basketball hoop first. Right, so I bring a basketball hoop. And then you say, please stand hoop. directly in front of this. Yeah. How long does that take, generally? Well, I've always got the basketball hoop and basketball with me. Right. So, typically, I mean, it depends on, like, where I have them. So, mm -hmm. like, if I have them at my desk, then I have to, like, run to my desk real quick and grab them. Make <laughs> sure you dump, the, dunk them into a <laughs> into glass. Into a glass, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, mouth breather is an insult. That's a good one. See, I if people are mouth breathers, that's fine. Some people have like, you know, some kind of sinus condition. If you are an open mouth chewer, I'm mm. done with you. I'm done with you. So would you call yeah. him a mouth chewer? Well, I guess everyone yeah. does that. If you, open everyone's mouth a mouth chewer. <laughs> I'm a nose chewer. <laughs> oh, I just man. shove food in there. Okay, <laughs> honestly, I would, so far there have been two merch ideas that I would absolutely love. One is um, fun hatred. Yeah. <laughs> or fun hatred isn't real or something like that. Fun hatred's real hatred. not real hatred. Um, and the other one is definitely a mouth chewer. <laughs> uh, I chew, chew with my, my left ear. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> oh man, I tell you guys about the time that I had the ear blockage in my ear. Yeah. And I kept oh, trying yeah. to like. Like I kept like chewing with my mouth to I, like try to open it up, so I'd just be walking around like. And it didn't work. And did me it? and Melissa would just be like, "Dan, see a doctor." Yeah. And I'm like, "No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine." Was it just that you had impacted earwax? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, everyone. There was a, I get there was a, no, there was a family of rats in there. <laughs> <laughs> I get impacted earwax about once every other year or something like that. So you're gonna to say like once a month? And once I'm a like, month, that's a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, even once every other year is definitely a lot more than average. Yeah. My body produces a lot of earwax. Mm, that's I right. should talk to candle business. <laughs> Shrek style. Yeah, no. just. Mm, yeah. He didn't even put a wick in it. He just lit it's his earwax ear on fire. <laughs> ear oh, hair. Oh, yeah, an ear hair. Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't really think about that. Yeah. It's all them like bath <laughs> I don't know what you mean by camping vibe. We're, camp yeah, we're, we're camping. We're camping. We're in, we're in the wild. I right dragged now. these two suckers and this yeah. couch out into the woods. <laughs> yeah. Favorite motion group of milk design. drinkers on a green screen. Hey, yo. What up? That's Thanks, us. Motion. Yeah. I'm your boy, Hole. This is uh, Almond. 
Yep. And uh, or what's well, what's your favorite? What's your favorite nut? I don't think you realized you said I'm your boy hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm your boy hole. What? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you can just call me. Uh, nut. There's shirt number three. I'm your boy hole. <laughs> you can just call me nut milk. That's uh, nut milk. Or almond <laughs> beverage. I think almond beverage is the funniest way to reference. Almond beverage. Yeah, to reference. If I could choose a new like online name, I think it would definitely be almond beverage. Uh, and the I'm... fan artists are quaking. I wish. I wish we had people write fan fictions about us. <laughs> yeah. Because you know we would do a live stream reading of them. Oh, that's good, Fuck. That's can, a... can I be one percent pain? <laughs> what big this wild a... animal would you guys have if it could be scaled down to the size of a cat or dog? As like a pet? I guess. Probably. <laughs> or just like to harness its Just to energy. harness <laughs> its power. <laughs> to summon. Um, um, that's a good one. I feel, I feel kind of bad about having animals that aren't <laughs> supposed to be domesticated because I feel like they're, okay, they generally I think, don't I think lead you can, good lives. I, I think you right? can include the domesticated, like, if it's already being magically shrunk down to the size of a no, domesticated no, animal. No, no, no. Fuck off! <laughs> no, I kidding. fake hate okay. you right okay. now. Okay. I fun hate you I right now. I fun hate you right now. Ah, fun <laughs> hatred! We're having fun right <laughs> Oh, fun hatred! Um, that's a good question. Um... My first instinct is to think elephant, but I feel like I would get tired of that very quick. Also, well, I haven't touched an elephant, so I don't know how the texture of their, like, are they pedible? I mean, yeah. For some reason, they've I feel got, like they've just got, like, big, leathery, rough skin. Most would be really cool, Scooby. I, I The first thing I kind of thought of was capybara, but the only problem is that it's already, already dog-sized. Yeah. yeah, dog size already, so. But what if you could have, uh, or you <clears> could have a, a size yes. of a pet that's already the size of a cat or dog, but you can make them into the size of an elephant. Mm, Cliff of the Big Red Dog Okay, style. but an elephant-sized capybara would be very cumbersome. Yeah, it would be. Capybaras, I don't think, move around very much, so it would be very stubborn. And yeah. then you'd have, essentially, a Pokemon Snorlax situation uh, where you just have a giant yeah. lumbering okay. animal that won't get okay. out of your way. You know how some people have, like, llama farms? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of want a capybara farm. Oh, that'd be fun. Now that I'm thinking about it. That'd have be you fun. seen like the videos of them like in like the hot springs and whatever <laughs> and whatnot? Yeah. I would love to have that to, to make like uh, <coughs> artificial hot springs to like have them be able to like chill out in with, with like this giant yard that people like drive by and you just see a bunch of capybaras walking around. I'm going to be the first to say it. What is a capybara? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Think like Such a groundhog, friend. but way bigger and I'll, chiller. I'll, I'll pull like up a, an Like a chunk. Like a giant yeah. groundhog. Folks at home can just pull up an image. Oh, I mean, so. about as chonky as a normal groundhog, I would say. But just long? But like just, a snake just, groundhog? Just big? No, just bigger. Big just scaled up in all directions, like, Dan. X, Y, and Z axis here, Dan. Is what? Are they cute? They're cute. They're cute. That's pretty cute. <clears throat> Folks at home. Yeah, can. a moose the size of a dog would be pretty funny. That would be a good mm. one. I mean, my first go-to for any time anyone asks, like, if you could have a domestic version of any animal, what would it be? It would obviously be a wolf. I just, that's my go-to. But then again, like, that seems like kind of a lame answer to that could I question. Get, could I get, like, a woolly mammoth? Ooh, extinct animals yeah, are extinct cool. animals on the table. I would cool. want... Are they still extinct, though, in this? So people are like, you have the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would And I'm like, so. yeah, and it plays fetch. <laughs> Here's the thing. If I if I were to get this animal, I wouldn't want it shrunk down. I would want it in its actual size. But I would love to have a pet giant sloth. Oh. Just a just a twelve foot tall sloth That's friend. A, no. Is that? They a, were like ten feet tall. Wow. They they were bigger than humans. That's yeah. incredible. And they're so cool. And what they did they just do? Nothing. They just they just kind of walked around and chilled. Awkward cacti. Hey, thanks for, thanks the, for the sub. sub. Hey, three sub. Three months. Wow. Wow, thanks wow, so much. Zowie. Yep. Awkward cacti. We're just doing cozy stream tonight. So Brighton ask us any questions. What yeah. mythical creature just do you wish in. existed, IRL? Um, Wendigo. <laughs> Wendigo. Why? I don't think I would want anything that so is known for murdering people. So that way I can finally know what it people. is. <laughs> Wendigos are literally never good, Dan. <laughs> like, even if you said yeah. dragon, I feel like that would be a better answer than Wendigo because dragons, like, 
some dragons just chill with their horde and answer and like ask you riddles and stuff and impart wisdom. Some yeah. dragons burn down villages, but there's a chance that if a dragon was real, it would just be a chill dragon, you know? You yeah. could but get like pop magic. Well, how do Wendigo, you know? always bad. Wendigos are cursed. Know? How do I know that know? Wendigos would be evil? Yeah. Because that is their thing. They are an evil spirit. That's yeah. what they do. Well, maybe <laughs> when they're in real life, they would. Dan, you do it. not want that. See, Tomb Wit knows what's okay. up. So. This maybe is foolish of a me. A rock would be but, rad. Uh, someone said Kraken. Mm -hmm. Aren't there actually giant squids? Yeah, but they're not Kraken size. How how large are giant squids? Like fifty feet. That's large. Well, a, a crack. The Kraken is what? It like could two, take down a dinghy. Hundred, it's like two hundred feet. At it's like least, a, yeah. The, a Kraken would be like, it's like hundreds the size of, the of feet. Yeah. Because okay. <laughs> I mean, most of the time when you think of a Kraken. You think of a Kraken taking down like a giant three-mast ship, right? Those things, those ships are like hundreds of feet long. Mm. So a Kraken would have to be like a thousand feet long. Mm. If you're talking about the whole okay. like... <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. I, see I see that, I see that, I see that. Could I have like a Russian doll Kraken where there's just what? smaller squids inside? Like so a... No? Alright. Well, I mean, no, I just, are I just you killing really... the outer kraken? Like, just, what, what, at no, what point are you ever all accessing alive. these other they're squids? All Do they alive. put their tentacles inside one another? Like a, like a skin like, suit? Like, what I'm asking is, no, what is in the their stomachs? Because is... think about it. If you have a thousand bit of, like, foot size kraken, its stomach has to be, like, at least, like, 200 feet, right? Sure. So then you have a 200 foot kraken in there that also has a large squid in there. I mean, it, but, is it well, is it eating that squid? Yeah, like, why? It could. Why are these things happening? All right, fine, I'll go back to wanting a Wendigo. Please don't want me to have this. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. I haven't answered. I mean, <laughs> I'm just scrolling through the D&D &D monster manual right now, like, do I want that, do I want that, do right. I want that? Beholder? God, no. <laughs> Favorite holiday an owl bear. seasonal that would be fun. drink. Booze or otherwise. Or a gray render. A gray render would be pretty rad. I think a sphinx would be really cool to just like have a conversation with. Yeah. Even if they like trick me into. I feel like into... sphinxes would be smug assholes, but maybe that's. Just I'm kind me. of about it though. Yeah. I don't know. I'm that's not my a, answer. I'm not into egotistical yeah. people. I respect your answer, but I wouldn't want one. Uh, what's your favorite seasonal drink? Booze or otherwise? Oh, a cider, mm. apple cider, a hot apple cider. Uh is my jam and i i make um my own like i typically will put it in like either a crock pot or just like a, mm. a regular pot on the stove or mm. something and i can make like boozy cider and add some cinnamon and stuff like that yeah. i do that sometimes it's nice yeah i uh, as for me i don't think i've ever had real eggnog but they make uh uh non-dairy yeah, Vegnog. <laughs> you can't um, tell me that's not a great name or for it. And like, it's really good. <laughs> Eggnot? Yeah. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. That's not bad. What about um, Vegnot? Both. No, Vegnot, that's little, too far. Too much. That's, that's too many levels Honestly, of... Honestly, it's really tasty. And I think without the the eggy stuff in it, mm -hmm. it feels less gross to drink as well. Like, Honestly, you know? I feel like I would prefer Vegnot. It's kind of, yeah, a, a, a bonus. I want to like try it. English. I want to try yeah. it. <laughs> no egg, no, no milk, milk, just, just dust. a cup of dust. <laughs> um, just, just sawdust. Mm, peppermint hot chocolate. Very good. I, I really Big need agree. a drink. Uh, eggnog? Maybe. <laughs> you guys got some nog? No, I'm no. not gonna, I don't want eggnog. Uh, Do you have what? milk milk? Yeah, there's milk in there. I want some nog. Um, well, Alex, there's I, a large mason jar that has water. Can you just put some water in it and bring it down? Okay. Thank you. You already have water in it? <laughs> This is a small amount of water. It's like a. I need some more water. A slurp amount of water in it. It's maybe two slurps. Slurp. Oh, sorry. A Sh 1.5 slurp. Slurp. Um, I have a gingerbread latte. Ooh, yeah, a year. Otherwise, it's chugging. Yeah, I don't think I really have a drink that I drink seasonally because it's, like, <laughs> it's always lemonade season. Mm, yeah. Dan does. Really, you enjoy yourself. A, a I, you know, a good cup of lerm goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. I really do. Because um, mm. you're not a coffee drinker, so you wouldn't go for any coffee. of the, the, I don't like the lattes tea. or whatnot. 
That's the uh, best choice you could have made? Yes, exactly, too. I am a fan of uh, pumpkin-flavored coffees. I recently found out that the uh, Duncan's pumpkin, have I already complained about this on stream? Think to me. Has milk in it. Yeah. And it makes me so upset. So upset that I actually went out and made my own pumpkin creamer to be able to put in my coffee because I wanted it that badly. Yeah. Yes. Um, and going straight rum is also fine. Straight rum. What stupid thing do you be did you believe as a kid? Example, I believe the moon followed me mm. home when I saw it from inside my car while my parents- This is a great were... question. This is Dang. a great question. I'm trying to think. I have one. So I didn't understand how time worked um, because I always heard about like the 1900s, like like the, the 20s and the 30s and the 40s and like the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. Um, but I didn't understand how the number system worked. So I thought that 1900 was year zero because I knew that, thank you. I knew that year zero was like a thing where Jason, oh, what, Jason, where Jesus was born. <laughs> Jesus Jason. Christ, it's Jason born. <laughs> <gasps> Jesus born Jason. And um, yeah, I thought that 1900 was year zero when like, when like Jesus was born. I almost said it again. Um, and yeah, I thought we were like a hundred years after the birth of Christ. What did I miss? What question are we on? Uh, oh, uh, what, right what stupid oh, okay. thing did you believe as a kid? Stupid thing that I believe as a kid. Uh, Santa Claus. No. <laughs> um, Tunwit, that's not crazy that you thought the noise the cicada made were sun rays. Oh, like, that's like that's interesting. That's interesting. Because like whenever you watch an anime, it's like all bright and you hear the cicada cicadas going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't can't know think of one really... either. I mean, I was so smart as a kid. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, just nothing got past me, man. <laughs> my my intelligence <laughs> just um, skyrocketed. I feel like I have another, but I can't think of it. The only, I, thing, I can't think of it. The only I, thing I can think of is like when I just thought that words meant other things than they did. Mm. And I'm mm. trying to think of an example. But I would misuse words all the time. Yeah. 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 Already understood theoretical physics at age three. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Quantum and whatnot. Ghost? I guess that was one of the. What that was one thing I kind of misunderstood as a child was quantum physics. Mm. It took oh, me a okay. while to get my head around that sure. one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The prep courses were <laughs> insatisfactory. Right. Yeah. I mean, calculus can only get you so far in pre-K. You know. Yeah, true. Well, you both did and didn't understand mm -hmm. quantum. Physics. It's only once you start to right, study. Right. Sure. Of course. That, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It was only once I checked the box did I realize. Um. Uh, so. Ghosts? Yes or no? He no. thought I girls think... peed blue. Oh, oh wow. Man, that's great. Oh uh, yeah. That's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> uh, we also have I think that's a question. I think a cool. question for motion design: Ghost, yay or nay? I don't think I've ever really believed in ghosts. Yeah. Me, Me neither. I'm, yeah. Sorry, Melissa, sorry everyone. Melissa is like, I have three ghost stories, concrete evidence. <laughs> and she's just like, we saw something from across the thing, and then it wasn't there. Concrete <laughs> evidence. I, <laughs> like, I okay. want to do, I want, so a little while ago, I was binge watching a whole bunch of BuzzFeed Unsolved, uh, because basically what they do is they have this one guy that like fully really believes in all that kind of stuff. And then one guy that just absolutely does not believe in it whatsoever. Um, and they pair the two of them up and they go and do like ghost hunts and stuff like that. Okay. And um, the, the, like, so if you've ever seen the meme of, hey demons, it's me, ya boy. That's from that show. That's the guy who doesn't believe in anything. Oh, okay. Right. And I really feel like, yeah, Shane from BuzzFeed Unsolved. Wow. That's it. It's so, yeah, it's I, so funny. I really feel like... I would be like that yeah. if I were at a ghost hunt where I would just be like, what's up demons? I'm here. Come and kill me. <laughs> like, let's, uh, let's play a game. I brought, I brought this flashlight. Can you turn it on? No. Cool. See, the thing is, it's like, I don't believe in them, but if I ever you don't want to do something, them. I'd be so fucking uh -huh. scared. Uh -huh. but, but I also you don't. Do. So I guess I do, but I don't at the same time. I had an imaginary friend when I was young named 
Eisenhofer. Eisenhofer, thank you. As an adult, I did research on my family house and discovered that Eisenhofer was the last name of the first family that built the house. Damn. Wow. That's it. That, that is they do. Incredible. They say kids are more in tune with that kind of stuff. Yeah, they do say that. They do say they that. They do say yeah. that. They do say that. That is what they say. <laughs> Yeah, um, that, that's very cool. Concrete concrete evidence. evidence. There it is. <laughs> Ghosts proof. We don't Stamp need, approval. We don't need concrete evidence or go, or them to be proved yeah. to be able to believe in it. Sure. Yeah. I just, I, <laughs> and? I just generally... I still don't. <laughs> I, I think, no, but that's fine. I, I think it's like... It's not like these... I think that these people are not trying to give you supposed concrete evidence. Mm -hmm. Just... I had this experience, it affected me, and it-, it No, I yeah, have... no, I'm not saying that motion design is trying to prove ghosts right. to me or anything. Right. Um, all right, AMA, if magic was real, what spell would you want to learn first? Oh, that's hmm. a good one. Prestidigitation. Isn't there the Engorgio one that makes that? things Prestidigitation bigger? Prestidigitation is <laughs> Engorgio? <laughs> Well, first of all, I, I personally am drawing from the D and D magic system. Those spells. So, Engorgio is not a D and D spell, but it very well could be like a Harry Potter spell or something. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but Prestidigitation is a cantrip, which means it's a zero level spell. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to cast, and you just get to do fun. It's essentially like if magic tricks were real magic instead of like sleight of hand and stuff like that. Right, sure. You can like change the colors of stuff or you can change the taste of stuff. Basically, Jesus Christ probably knew one spell and it was prestidigitation. Interesting, okay. Well, no, he probably knew walk on water as well, I guess, mm. which is like, a, I think a third level spell. So. And resurrection. Well, you can't no, that's cast that on yourself. Oh. You can't cast that. <laughs> oh wait, no, I think there is a spell called just, death ward. What if he just readied it? Oh. Yeah, oh, he, he, he cast death ward on himself. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> has anyone made Jesus in D&D? A D &D character Jesus. I'm sure it's been oh, done, boy. but I really want to try now. And uh, healing hands. That's true. Yeah, it's still dead. Um, okay, real quick, back on the ghost thing. Uh, uh, Cacti says, if you saw an actual ghost right in front of you, what would you say to it? So, okay. Um, <laughs> you are God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not real. No. <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess the question is like, do I know anything about their past life or anything? No. Like, no. It's just so a I just, ghost. I know for a fact that there is a ghost in front of me, but I know nothing else about them. Mm -hmm. Then I would probably just ask, uh, God, I don't know. I want to get a drink. <laughs> I want to hang out. Like, and then they disappear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a no. Cool. <laughs> Rejection. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Can't even um, get a dead date. Uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what I would ask this ghost. You've been ghost. I don't know. I mean, probably. Like, yeah. I'm a, a so I think the the question implies that you're going to get an answer. Right. Right. So I don't know. I mean, what's it like? I guess I'd just be like, Here's what's it like thing. on the other yeah, side? I guess what's it like to but be like, a ghost? Also... Like, oh wait, no, no, no. I would ask, do I have to be a ghost? Because here's the thing. If you can choose whether to be a ghost or not, uh, then, I mean, first of all, what is the option that's not a ghost? But that's not really part of my question. But if you can choose, then like, would you choose to be a ghost or would you choose to move? Choose to move? And keep in mind, the other option may be just complete oblivion where you don't exist anymore you don't know but oh, yeah. would you choose to be a ghost um i think I. Would. how long are you a ghost I forever mean, i would assume yeah either forever or at least as long as you want to be maybe I mean, maybe until you finish your unfinished business but then i would just be like okay my unfinished business is i have to say the magic word or I have to say this word, and then I can just to choose. I don't know. This is just you. Just you're just choosing immortality. <laughs> yeah, and then at any time I can just be like, all right, I'm just gonna finish that business, and I'm yeah, done. but who wouldn't I'm say out. yes to that? I don't know. I might not. If you, all right, but even if you, okay, even, even if you're like, I, oh, I don't was, like this, you can okay, immediately if stop. If it was, if it was eternal ghosthood or not, then I would probably go with ghost. I would go with because I, I would, I would rather, not. I, if, if I'm stuck to to that, no, immortality is not good. <laughs> No, but the thing is, it's not its not the same as immortality. It's its not the same as a corporeal immortality. 
Like with this immortality, you can go anywhere, see anything. No. You know, I think like, it would be kind I think of. I'd be fine with that. I think it would be kind of torturous to yeah. live in a world that you have no impact on. Maybe at first, with no way I think, to I think, end it either. I think, I think it's I the opposite. I think it's the opposite. At first, it's like, oh, cool, I can go around and see stuff. But then you just know that you're living in a space forever, yeah. never being able to interact with it. So everything that yeah, you think and feel is essentially. Yeah, but then I think you would also meaning. get past that phase and start living because at a certain point, I would say, once you've lived more, lived more as a ghost than you did in your own mortal life, then I would say now you're at the point where you're just used to that reality. Like, think of it this way, think of it this way. People are born blind. Do you think that they are like, oh man, it's, you know, it's this terrible experience where I am never going to experience sight. But That's at the, the same, same time, thing. it kind of is. It's just you're. It's it's a different experience that you're not experiencing. Even but you're even just... if even if I were still a human mm -hmm. and could never die, I would not take that option. So you're just you're just saying that you would get used to it. I'm saying mm -hmm. that if we think about the this living situation that is presented to us, it's not really the kind of thing that you just get used to. You're saying that you would just get used to it, and I'm saying I don't think that you would. I think it would. The longer you go, the more you would just have the feeling of there is no point for me to be living because I can never impact anything that I see going on. Anything I think or feel is always going to be meaningless because I can never act on it uh, in like a relevant way. So why am I living? Uh, even I think if you could, I think it's not worth it to live forever. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I just see it as like all the world's your TV show. I, I think, I think, depending on different people, they could live for longer mm -hmm. with with enjoying their existence. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody at some point will not want to exist anymore, and I think that's different for everybody. And if you can't stop existing, then it's basically torture forever. It's just later for some people. Yeah. See, off. Is it Awkward Cacti? Yeah, Awkward Cacti's got a point. If you were a ghost, you could just spend a good 10,000 years checking out the bottom of the ocean, being like, oh, what's up, what's down here? But it's forever. That's forever. You, you, you're never finished. You'll never be finished. A lot of ocean. 10,000 years is a, is a drop in the bucket. No, you'll, you can go yeah, and explore you'll space. Finish, uh -huh. You'll finish exploring yeah. the oceans and oh, then what? Oh, yeah, you can be like, oh, that star. I think that's got a planet on it, right? I'm gonna go there. And it would never feel satisfying because you can see Until things, but they'll, there. but they'll never impact your life, and you'll never be able to impact it. So I don't need to make boot prints on the moon to be freaking ratted out that I'm on the moon. <laughs> but you're like a living person whose experiences in like, you, you, ah, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get there. I just, I think me personally, I would be fine with it. I think I would find ways to be fine with you're, it. You're in an infinite space, or you're in a finite space with finite things to do with infinite time. You will run out eventually, and then you will just be alive and not and there will be do nothing. anything. So you're saying yeah. it death. would be fun until the heat death of the universe. No. <laughs> I mean... If if I don't think anyone could entertain themselves to the heat death of the universe, <laughs> honestly, that's the question. Can you entertain yourself until the heat death no, of the I universe? Have you seen so. Cats? <laughs> Not the movie. <laughs> Not the movie. Cats? Moving on. Moving on. Kath asked another AMA. It was, uh, "What technology do you think we need right now to improve our lives?" The example Kath gave was uh, a, a device that would brush all of your teeth at the same time. Synthesize. I mean, I'm I'm kind of thinking on a world saving <laughs> Build uh, point on. here, but like, yes, synthesis, oxygen synthesis, being able to create oxygen from carbon dioxide in a synthetic way. I think I think <laughs> I think this was a little bit more of a, a, a small scale. A, yeah, a five minute like, crafts. Right. <laughs> what five, five minute craft minute crafts could improve you your life? Could <laughs> hack your life? What life hack do you wish you could have? Okay, if we're thinking smaller scale. Hmm. Uh, I think being able to just sort of Iron Man style go like this and then put like it would just nanobites would dress you. Ooh. Like you would be able to put clothes okay. on by doing that. Cool. cool. You know? Yeah. 
Or like, you know those like slap bracelets? If it was like that, but for like a full body outfit where you just like, <laughs> <whoop>. <laughs> What if it hurts? It doesn't hurt really bad, but it kind of stings. Yeah. Um, I think, let's see how you're alive. I think- a If you're a ghost, you can't wear that clothes. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You'll never feel the sting of a slap bracelet. You'll never feel the sting of a slap bracelet again. That, uh, that's a merch. Uh, <laughs> ghosts can't wear slap bracelets. I think probably a skateboard you can't fall off. Wow. And that always lands on its wheels when you do like oh, a... Okay. So like, are you attached to it? Like, do you, do, is it like yeah, special yeah. magnetized boots? No, it just, it just knows like... It's just Like magic. if you try to step off of it, it will go back under your face. Yikes. Like... And then I mean, you start falling, but it's like <laughs> always falling. It's like following you, so you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you edge closer and closer to a hill, and you start falling down the hill. No, no, no. Yeah, but you wouldn't be hurt. You wouldn't get, there wouldn't be any so you slam into The entire the house, time it's rolling underneath you. Well, it auto, it auto will auto turn, adjust. you know. Like, imagine, imagine you're like, Humbling, like somersaulting down this hill, <laughs> Head over but the entire time it's perfectly staying underneath <laughs> yeah, you. Exactly. So you're just tumbling on top of this skateboard. Yeah, which is much oh. better. Than it would look cool. It would definitely look cool. Uh, and then you'd go into a construction site, and you'd be like yeah, going up a and girder. Like, the crane would be carrying the yeah. one steel beam up, and like <laughs> you would get on while it's on the ground, and then get off right when it hits the other floor. Yep, yeah. every time. Yeah. Whoever was the first person to think of that, genius. <laughs> every other person, it unoriginal is. scumbag. <laughs> a hack. Just total <laughs> hack. Hmm. Oh, Damn. man. Uh, but have any of us gone LARPing? Yes. I have not. I know... I have not. My, my friend has. Uh, oh, and I was really friends. excited. And I, and I really wanted to. And we we even, didn't like... join us for PAX Unplugged. Me? Yeah. Uh... Uh... St I mean, you you met up with there. us at yeah. PAX Unplugged, oh, but, but Steve, was... Dom, and I went yes. LARPing at PAX Unplugged. Yeah, there was that one day that I didn't go. Uh, we were at a uh, board gaming convention, and they had a... A LARP, like a, one of the rooms where you could go and sign up for a LARPing session, and we went mm -hmm. and did it. Uh, I guess there's like some legit group of LARPers from New Jersey that came and was like leading the session and just doing the same kind of little LARP over and over again. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a fun time. I, I would have preferred something uh, slightly different to sort of the experience that we had, just in terms of like mechanic wise and like. I mean, let's be real. It was three improvisers and a bunch of very much not improvisers doing LARP, yeah. so. <laughs> Have you ever done the more conventional of like, go away to like a little- uh, Lightning bolt, for lightning bolt. Yeah, forest area <laughs> no, I have where not. you have like the sword and the shield. <laughs> no, but that would be fun. And that's the thing, right? The people who are running it do that kind of stuff, um, but they just brought like a bunch of foam weapons and stuff like that yeah. and then did it. Real Life Among Us, so if you haven't seen it already, Corridor Digital, did like a uh, real life Among Us uh, in their studio, and it looks so much fun. I would love yeah. to do something like yeah, that. That actually is a really good idea. Is it limited to medieval fantasy genres, or can you do other genres? I mean, if you're talking about in reality, you can do anything. Like the one that we did wasn't medieval. There were like it was like a spy theme, I think. Um, but. In terms of what I would prefer, I would probably want to do like medieval fantasy. I guess even when you think about it, there's um, even like the kind of um, like murder mystery dinner things where you like take on a character. Technically, that... you are live action role playing. I guess that is kind so, of LARPing. It, yeah, it I would love to do that. Falls in line of LARP. Yeah. Well, then you've I've done, done that. that. Yeah. yeah, I have done <laughs> You that. worked at a yeah. dinner theater. Oh, yeah, I did. did. I worked at a murder mystery dinner theater uh -huh. for about a month. Yeah. <laughs> I think so I, he LARPed for a whole month. I did. I really did. I think I actually applied to one of those kind of places because by the time I was finishing with college, I was like, uh, I need a job to be able to hold me over. And this is like kind of acting-y and I yeah, like that. So I yeah, it's wanted to try it. It pretty much is. But I didn't get it. And then I... Man, did you go to audition? Yeah. Oh, I also won an audition. <laughs> oh! But it was weird because, like, you're doing, like, very scripted stuff because basically it was, like, you get uh, you get hired by, like, parties and then you put it on and people become part of it and you, like, sort of run the session of it. Yeah. Um, 
So you're pretty much scripted, but you can like fudge around whatever the hell you want. But obviously there's beats and like real plot that, yeah, yeah, and, and, like, yeah. and yeah. details that are real if yeah. you want people to figure it out. Yeah. Um, but most of the audition was just improv. Yeah. yeah. So it and oh, so easy. it was it was so weird because all I had to do was well, just do improv scenes and they're just like ah yes. Well, because like ninety yeah. percent of it was improv, right? You have to improv your way to each plot point and then you hit that beat no, and then like you're improvising you, the next beat, right? They give you like a full script oh, and they're okay. they're like scripted lines huh. and they're just like we don't really care about the lines uh -huh. like you can do whatever you want but like sure. you have to hit beats and like stuff. Yeah, sure. happens. Why okay, you... here's a question. In a similar vein, then, would working at a haunted house count as LARPing? Technically, yeah. Yeah, I would say yeah. It's live action. Because I've worked at a haunted house. Yeah. 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 Uh, why did you leave, Dan? Uh, I left because I got a real job. Hey! <laughs> Not that nice. it wasn't a real yeah. job, but, um, uh, yeah, I did Hello, that, and then I, that's when I got my, uh, my, my film job. Ooh, so. Nice. Um, I know we were talking about this, and Melissa was saying that she wanted all of her birthdays to be Oh, that, I forgot. To be murder mystery. Oh my god, Dan, I forgot. Dan definitely committed to I setting it up, it. Looking, at the, looking at the scripts, giving people roles, uh, and having our friends over at some point in the future to be able to set up this, like, murder mystery night. Because yeah. the thing is, is that even though I left, I can still log in. Mm -hmm. I have access to all the scripts, all the character information, and, um, I, like, I think half of the shows, because there's different types of shows, but half of them work when there's only one, like, crew member that mm -hmm. runs it, because everyone else plays all the characters. Sure, sure. So, there are plenty of shows where I could run just a right. private yeah. murder mystery. Yeah. yeah. That that'd be fun. Isn't, that isn't like shittily home written. Dude, that'd yeah. be really fun. So yeah, we were I really excited that. about I'm gonna it. Do we were it all down point. for it. That'd be a blast. Um, Obviously, we yeah. have to wait till... <laughs> and then we yeah. were like pushing for it to... We wanted it to be monthly. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And Dan was like, mm, maybe on special. I mean, I'll <laughs> definitely do it, but I might not like lean so much into like staying in character and like being oh. off book. Are you yeah, kidding like, me? Yeah. Like I'm going to do that. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, I will but you be don't have fully to learn. You don't have to learn things and know everyone's information. To make sure they don't <laughs> fuck it all up. <laughs> it's a it's a lot of information yeah, to yeah, know. Yeah, it is. It um, is yeah. What actors would play each of you in show and tell the movie? Oh, didn't we just? Oh, really? what if what if the five of us are the cast, but we can't play ourselves? <laughs> so what does the cast look like then? Um, who would play whom if we? Yeah, who would play act? whom? Whom would play Who do who? you guys think you could portray the best? I'll be Max's Dan. Yeah. Max's Dan. I think oh, I could do it. Oh, well, I did. I have done yeah, it I've taken on the role. Halloween. And That's it's a true. it's a hardy yeah. role, but I think I can do it. Yeah, it's a tough one, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Alex would play a good me. I feel like I think I could do a Max. I feel like I'd, I I could pull off Dom. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve. What does that leave? That leaves well, Steve doing think... Dom. Or Steve doing Steve doing Steve. That would leave Steve doing Steve. No, wait. No, Dom on. could play Steve, and then Steve would play you. Would play you. Oh, yeah. The psychic. Yeah, Steve yes. would be me. Yeah, Steve would be Alex. There you go. Danny <laughs> DeVito as Dan. Okay, <laughs> wait, let's think of actual actors. Though. Yeah. Okay. So actual actors. <laughs> well, we're uh, actual. Actors. I don't. I've been asked this before, and I don't. Uh, know. Jake Gyllenhaal. Actually, <laughs> yeah, we actually we we were playing a game once, and um, it was a question that came up that was like, what actor would play you? Mm -hmm. Um, and I think I said, yeah, I think Jake Gyllenhaal. For you? Yeah, I can maybe. see that. I yeah. can see Well, we were also saying yeah. maybe Logan Lerman, too. I don't know who that is. From, uh, Lightning Thief and Sea of Monsters and not the rest of the movie uh, books because yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah. make them. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> And, uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that, right. that guy. Oh, yeah, that actually sounds, uh, yeah, now that I'm picturing him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you guys think? God, I don't know. I really want it to be Paul Dano, just because I love Paul Dano. <laughs> or honestly, even Daniel Radcliffe, I think, would do a good job. D yeah, Daniel, Radcliffe could, Daniel. Daniel Radcliffe could do a good Daniel. That's perfect. That's perfect. Daniel Radcliffe could do it. He already good knows Daniel. the name. It'll <laughs> yeah. work out pretty easy. Yeah, you, you wouldn't even have to pretend to be a different yeah. name. Dan for Dan. Dan for Dan. Hashtag Dan for Dan. <laughs> 
trying to get Daniel. Honestly, Radcliffe Paul Dano himself. would probably play Alex. Ooh, well. Andrew Garfield for Alex. Or Andrew Garfield. See, do you think? Because like I was going to say like, oh well, my first thought is any of like the is like going through the different Spider-Man actors, but I don't know if I any think, of them really would play me. Like, do you think Andrew, Andrew Garfield, Garfield would actually play me? I think he would do you well. Okay. Okay. Outside of him being Spider-Man, probably. Mm-hmm. I still said Paul Dano would probably be good at you. I don't think I know Paul, Paul Dano, Dano could play Wait, who's role? Paul Dano? Who was Paul Dano? Uh, you know, like Swiss Army Man, Loma Sunshine. Oh, uh, okay. There Will Be Blood. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every good movie that ever existed. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. The Awkward Kid, yeah. Oh, uh, wow! Two people uh, offering followers at yeah, once. Yeah, like Tom uh, Holland wouldn't be incredible. a good movie, Alex. Tom Holland couldn't. No. Or Tobey Maguire. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Hold I'll on, let's it. just I'll clear this it. up. How do I? How do I? Just do right it? click, or oh. I guess no, left click on their name. Oh. Sorry. Oh, that's Toonwit. <laughs> <laughs> time to time out Toonwit again. <laughs> what do I? Do I add friends? Uh, no, there should be. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Can you? Can you? Can you, can you, can you gift them a sub? Uh, I can, can you <laughs> gift them a sub? <laughs> I can give them a sub. Hey, division oh. does not help us. We need to learn to work together. Where's the other one? Go there you go. Please gift them a sub. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. Uh, 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 what did we miss? That was a. Um, okay. Just scrolled all the way down. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're, we're scrolling down. Okay. Hot damn, what a deal. Oh, that's from. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I want to be famous. Okay, yeah, everyone's just replying to our lovely uh, friends that yeah, joined uh, us there. If we gifted them yeah, a sub, okay, they so, would make us famous. That's all so, I'm so. Can I guess Andrew yourself? Garfield or Paul Dano for me, Daniel Radcliffe for Dan, Jake Gyllenhaal for Max, or who was the other one that we said for Max? Oh, you said Logan Lerman. You had somebody. Yeah, I, yeah, that makes sense. That sounds right. Logan Lerman just closer um, to your age. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking as well. If, if they were, if they were um, like an origin story of like we're like you know where show and tell's fucking huge in the future, <laughs> but it's like the like where there's so much like infighting behind the scenes right. when we first started. <laughs> yeah. There was like drugs and there were mm-hmm. hookers. Yeah, and yeah you guys have no idea how crazy. Yeah, you don't know how crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we, we've yeah. gone through like 14 different producers because they just they just all quit. I'm just they're saying, so horrible. not everyone who was originally there for the inception of show and tell live is alive today. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, who would play Dom and who would play Steve? Oh, fuck. That's the question. Mm. I I have no idea who would play Steve. Steve is just such a unique human being. Oh my god, <laughs> that's true. I'm trying I'm to think who is just Dom. equally a unique human being. Dom is also very unique. I feel like there have got to be actors out. Like Dom, I can see Dom as like a movie character, you know. But Steve is just so Steve. I feel like Stanley Tucci. The guy who voices out. Olaf? Oh, oh, Josh shoot. Gad. I that Josh Gad, yeah. Josh Gad. Josh Gad could, could probably Steve. be Steve. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best one we've got. Yeah. LeFou. Josh Gad, LeFou. As long as it's not um, James Corden, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Did you see the trailer for the I new? think it would be really funny to have James Corden play Steve just because of the joke of it's James Corden. <laughs> they they use the joke, oh look, James Corden is in a movie too often. There's literally, we watched a trailer for a new movie that's starring Melissa McCarthy called uh, Super Intelligence or something, where James Corden voices like a super intelligent computer that talks to Melissa McCarthy's character. And... Her character is like weird and it says like one of her character traits is like likes James Corden and she's just like are you James Corden and he's just like no I'm not James Corden I just sound like James Corden because I know you're like <laughs> <laughs> so he's not playing himself he's playing a guy he's that playing sounds a like a robot him. that is, is using happening? James Corden okay voice. all right sure oh Jim Gaffigan God. is Steve mm. I, I mean, if we're just... looking for age, but we need someone younger is yeah. the problem. I, I think Jim Gaffigan has a very different vibe from Steve, too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I think Jim Gaffigan's hilarious. Yeah, I like Jim Gaffigan. Um, God, who would be dumb? Who who are some evil masterminds in movies? Yeah, who could play dumb? We can think of dumb, too. Yeah. Who's the guy that played Voldemort? Uh, I don't, I don't remember the name. But that guy? Maybe. What so else has he been so in? He's so old. I mean, not that he's so old, but he's too old for... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. For, we're all 25. Yeah. Or, I mean, 17. Steve would be someone <laughs> from Broadway. Oh. We're all 17. <laughs> 17. 
Um, called Ralph. Uh, Ralph Phineas. Phineas. I think that's the uh, Voldemort guy. Oh, oh okay. yeah, 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 that is the same. Um, someone from Broadway, Josh Gad, still. Uh, mm. Shoe. Shoe. There's got to be an answer here. Yeah. We're not thinking of it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought Tom Holland playing Dom <laughs> would, uh, <laughs> would be really funny. <laughs> I just don't think it would work. I don't think it would work no. either. But Alex Brightman, who's that? Here's the thing: is I don't know. Steve this. Buscemi. Would Steve, Steve Buscemi, Buscemi play yes. a good dog? Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> Honestly, Steve Buscemi would play dumb very well. I kind of agree. Yeah. Uh, Alex Brightman. Oh. What has Alex Brightman been? Ezra Miller. I don't even know who this guy is. Maybe Ezra Miller for Dom. I have no idea who mm. Alex Ezra Brightman is. Who's, uh, Ezra Miller is, uh, what, uh, uh, I, Baby Driver? No. Oh, The Flash, <gasps> The Flash. Oh. I Ezra don't Miller know if, was um, the Flash. Oh, I man. could see, honestly, I could see Ezra Miller. I could see Ezra Miller. As, Ezra Ezra Miller's got the right attitude for Dom. Oh, yeah, for Dom? 100%. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Ezra, Miller's, Ezra, Miller, Ezra, Ezra Miller could Ezra Miller's locked yeah. Honestly, Dom. Ezra Miller looks a little bit like Dom when he didn't have facial hair or long hair, too. Yeah. He, he would do it a, a little bit. <sighs> All right, so we just need to figure out Steve. Uh, man, I can't think of any like actors that are our age. <laughs> Zendaya. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Zendaya. Stop is doing Spice. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh calling it early. All right. Well, thanks for stopping thanks, by, Scoobs. Scoobs. Lurk it up. Damn for Steve. Um, man. Um, man. Nick Cage? I mean, there's a- Oh! Oh! Hold on. I need to- I know this is going backwards. I need I kinda... to see what this kid looks like now, because I haven't seen him. It's kind of sad. If he was alive. I think, actually, maybe Heath Ledger would be good at playing me. Yeah. Or Dom, too. Or Dom, yeah, too. He'd be good at playing anybody. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Heath Ledger's just good. Oh, by the way, A Knight's Tale is on Netflix. Or at least the last time I saw Netflix. What is that? Netflix. A Knight's Tale, it's one of my favorite movies. It is a uh, super campy, modernized uh, story about a peasant who pretends to be a knight to joust because he loves jousting. It's just it's just a really fun, like campy comedy uh, that takes place in sort of pseudo-medieval times. Right. Uh, and it's just a really good time. It, the, the movie opens to a bunch of peasants at a joust singing and like stomping along to We Will Rock You. <laughs> is Heath Ledger in that movie? Or yes, Heath just Ledger, okay, is I thought, Heath I Ledger stars in that movie. Bringing who it up plays, randomly. Who um, the cameraman? Steve, I think one person who could possibly play Steve, although I have no idea what he's been in recently, would be Spencer Breslin. Who's that? This guy. Oh yeah, what is what was he recently in? Recently, I have no idea. Let's see. Is he related to Abigail Breslin? I don't know. Maybe. Mm, yeah, it's a tough one. Huh. I mean, Wait, mostly he was in movies in. Did we get an AMA question? Like. I don't think so. Since the movie one. Uh, a grand oh. feast is held in your honor. What's on the table? Grand <laughs> feast is held in your honor. What? You're all wrong. Lemonade. <laughs> Just lemonade. Honestly, I want like a lemonade fountain in my house. Like a water fountain in the wall, but it's just lemonade. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it just it, it would seems like it would be kind of dangerous, you know? Why? For like your health. That's a lot of lemonade, Dan. It's okay. To have a literal fountain of it? <laughs> like a school water fountain, but it dispenses lemonade instead. Yeah, exactly. It would also get sticky. That'd be dope. Alright, I would make it stick proof first. They, 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 would, they would like splat, it splatters. Got you know? it. Like when you hold it, because like it, you want Not it to the have. Good ones. Well, you yeah. want it to have. Maybe it's good one of those pressure. ones with the bottle, and it's just the bottle jet. For yeah, maybe it's what just a bottle one, like okay. it ha that you have okay. in your refrigerator. Okay, okay. It doesn't have to be the literal arcing one. I kind of Unless want it I to have be. like a fountain with like a cupid with a little baby, uh, and that's... it's peeing. No, yeah. it's it's oh, it's, it's peeing. peeing yeah, yeah, so yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> I just drink angel pee. 
Adam Nectar Mon of the Gods. Um, I don't know who would or what food I would have. I don't know who I would eat. I don't know who what I would eat. All right, if you had to go cannibal, who would you eat? Um, I don't. I, who, I, how how would I know if anyone would taste different from anyone? Poison ivy. I don't know. Because she's part plant. <laughs> That's as close to veganism as you can get. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about uh, trolls too. I don't Who's... know. Probably someone not old, because their meat's probably all. Would old. you feel bad about killing somebody young? Am I me murdering them in order to eat them? I guess that's true. Like, whose dead body do you want to come across like, that you could eat? I mean, <laughs> baby would probably be like human veal, you know? Ooh. <laughs> and <laughs> moving on! Oh, hey, okay! Okay! Hey, moving on! Let's transition to the next question! This, oh. The saddle cast is... <laughs> The saddle cast is all stranded uh, uh, on a desert island. Who gets eaten first? That's not where I thought it was going. Um, okay, we're all we're all stranded. What happens? I get eaten first. I think I think Alex Dan would probably volunteer to get eaten first. I think Alex... I would probably trip and hit my head on a coconut and be dead. <laughs> and then you guys are like, "Well, we gotta eat him." Ah, uh, well, might as well eat him. Yeah. Um, you think I what? You have probably a lot of skills. You were were you a uh, a, a camp boy? Scout. Okay. Right. Camp boy. Uh, I am thing. a camp boy. I, um, I wilderness I did, survival certified. Right. Okay, I did I did a little bit of uh, camping and and uh, whatnot. Um, wilderness survival a little bit as as well. Um, so Steve I think we, also was a boy scout. Okay, right on. Yeah, I think we could. And Dom would be the project manager. Yeah. Um, so and I, think, I would be eaten. And Dan Dom would, be would eaten. come up with a plan, but would be the first to backstab us and eat us if he needed to. I think. We and Dom actually, would fully admit that. That's why you have to put him in a cage, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, exactly. We've been over this. <laughs> I think Any we, disaster situation, Dom will be very helpful, but you have to put him in a cage. I yeah. think we would actually do pretty well on a stranded island, all five of us. I think we could do all right. I mean, it depends on what's on the deserted island. True. You know, if it's right. literally just a sandy atoll, then we're pretty screwed. I would give them my glasses. Lord of the Flies style. Would... <laughs> so you're saying we're going to eat. smash Dan with a giant rock? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I think I'll Who's find the a way Simon to of the group? Who are we going to go mad and spear to death? Um, probably Max. Yeah. I've Max is probably that. the Simon of the group. That was my first instinct as well. Honestly. Mm. Yeah. Simon. <laughs> Good. All right. Good. Glad we know. Good, good. Hit, we had a nice midpoint. Look, of... it's not bad to be the Simon. It's just that it's bad to be anyone else around, or, or it's bad for anyone else to be around you when you're the Simon. You yes. Know? Yeah. Because Simon was the nice, sweet little kid that was, you know, doing things right and right. just kind of <laughs> going along, and then everyone was like, "Hey, let's murder that kid." Right. And that's who's what they the did. who's the Ralph? Who's the Ralph? That's I've never seen Lord of the and Flies. And who's the Jack? Or Reddit. So, Ralph is the main, I would say, the protagonist of Lord of the Flies. Uh, he's kind of the the, the, the audience, uh, but also just sort of, you know, the, the one that tries to uh, keep people sane and human. Uh, Jack is the kid mm -hmm. that... Uh, turns everyone into a ravenous gang of yep. young cannibals, essentially. Yep. Yep. His name is Jack. You kind of know already yeah, that's going to happen. He's a Jack. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jordan wants to know who we are in Lord of the Rings. I, I saw that, I and then seen. I saw L O T R, and we were on Lord of the Flies, and I and I <laughs> had to work very hard to be like, what's happening? Lord yeah, of the Rise. Uh, Lord of the Rise. Um, <laughs> who's who's Pumpernickel? Who's <laughs> Ooh, if you were a bread, who are you? What, what kind of bread? Well, well wait. What Lord of the Rings character? Yeah, I'm like bread. Um, Lord of the Rings. Also haven't seen Max is probably, probably Legolas, Legolas for the hair. Yeah, we all agree. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost certainly Legolas. Um, uh, Steve is Gimli. Right? Steve is Gimli? Yeah, yeah. yeah Steve is Gimli. Uh, Dom is probably that... Uh, Aragorn? You're Dom, probably Aragorn. Dom is probably that dude that was poisoning the the king of. Uh, oh, worm tongue. Yeah, worm tongue. Yeah, Dom. Dom, <laughs> yeah, Dom is probably worm tongue. Uh, and then Dan. Dan's no, just an orc. Dom, Dom's, Dom's probably to give him a little bit higher billing. Uh -huh. Is probably Gandalf. 
Or, yeah, Dom is probably Gandalf. Damn, Dom right. is either Gandalf or Sauron, but we have no idea which. That's a good point. Am yeah. I, am I Sam? He's gonna be double Samwise? Uh... Yeah, no, well, I would say no. Oh. I would say you're more Frodo than Sam. Yeah. yeah honestly, probably. honestly, I would say Dan's more of a Frodo than a Sam. Yeah. Dan, I don't know I'm if you know Frodo. this, but... And I don't mean this as an insult, but that isn't necessarily a compliment. Sam is definitely better than Frodo. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sam, I... Sam was the one that saved the realm. Ooh. Let's be real. Dan... It was not Frodo. Toonwit, I think Dan is probably Pippin and not Merry. Um, these are the twins, the twins hobbits. Ah, uh, yeah, the yeah. The twins hobbits? They're, they're, there, are they're two there are two hobbits. Actually, brothers. They, they might only be brothers. Yeah, they, yeah, I don't know if they're twins. What are, actually, what they, they might not even not be They're the brothers. comedic relief, essentially. Wait, are they not even brothers? No, no, they're, no they're not. I don't think, I think they are. I don't think Merry and Pippin are actually related. Yeah. Uh, the fish cousins, city right? who worked for the master. Cousins, yeah. Cousins, that sounds right. Cousins. Um, I would say, if at all, then yeah, probably cousins. Uh, I, I, you guys are just saying words. You have to yeah. watch Lord of the Rings, Dan. Do I have Don't, to? Yes, you yeah, actually you should. Have to. Yeah. You shouldn't watch the extended edition. Well, I made edition. the mistake of watching the extended edition of the first and now one. Dan just thinks that he hates the movies. And I it's don't, like, no, okay. you just need what? to I never said watch I hated the it, first one. But I was definitely not into it. I don't know if I've ever seen the normal cut. I'm pretty sure really? I've only seen the extended edition. I've before. seen them so many times. Yeah. I've seen them many, many yeah, times. no, I've been told, but I accidentally watched the extended one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, even just like an hour in, I was like. I remember the. Uh, what is happening? My, my parents had like the full extended edition box set on DVD right. or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Lord of the Rings, that seems really cool. And they were like, yeah, go ahead and watch it. And so I just sat and watched the whole Lord of the Rings extended edition trilogy on my own. Just like in one popped sitting? it. I don't think it was in one sitting, no. But I did just like pop it into the DVD player. And then for the next like day or two, I was watching it all. Uh, I think to watch the three of them all extended, it takes about 12 hours. My friend yeah, said that I'm pretty sure I did it in two days. He would do, um, have his friends come over and from... 4:20 p.m. to 4:20 a.m. Watch all of them all. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I would love. I I honestly am totally in to do like a full like Hobbit and Lord of the Rings marathon, a oh full Avengers Lord. marathon. I don't even like Harry Potter, but I would do a full Harry Potter marathon. Like just doing that gauntlet sounds so fun. I I would do Not that. alone. Like you would have to do it with yeah. a group of people. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't want to. But you make a whole thing of it. I genuinely don't want to watch the Hobbit movies ever again. Really? Yeah, yeah. Tim Wood agrees. Huh. Hmm. It's just they're not even enjoyable to watch. Maybe the first I one. Hate them. Maybe the first one is like fine to watch. They're again. obviously not nearly as good as Lord of the Rings, but I didn't hate. Them. I think it's a mixture of being frustrated that they're not any good, uh, and also just thinking that they're bad movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like being like, oh, I love this, uh, like the original kind of like material to this, mm -hmm. but the fact that they tried to remake it and it's not what I want makes yeah. me not want to watch them. I have always been a really bad really bad judge of character when it comes to movies because i have a very high tolerance of like bad film like a lot of movies that people will just absolutely rag on i'll be like i had fun honestly yeah. it's a that's a better quality to have i know i yeah. know i am it not is, yeah. very judgmental of movies yeah. at all i enjoy okay. a lot of movies i watch speaking of which there are uh -oh. some that i don't uh oh asks what bad movie do you love uh, Here's the thing. When it was originally out and everything, people called it bad. Like, everyone was ragging on it. But now, a lot of people say it's really good. But my favorite movie is Pacific Rim. The first mm. Pacific Rim. Oh, yeah. I've only heard good things about it. But that wasn't... That's the thing. Yeah. When it first came out, everyone was shitting on it. Everyone was like, oh, the plot is so stupid and bad. and like. But then, like, now people are like, Pacific Rim is just a fucking bomb. It's yeah. just a really good time where you just go and watch robots punch monsters, and the cinematography for the robots punching monsters is so well done. It's because it's, it's Del Toro. It's Del Toro. It's so, like, yeah, Del Toro yeah. kicked ass in that movie. Yeah. yeah. Did you? I haven't seen either of them, BT Dubs. But did uh -huh. you like the second one if you mm -hmm. saw it? No. So here's the thing. Because it wasn't directed by Del Toro. The first one, <laughs> honestly, yeah. Well, yeah. The, the, what happened was the first one was really, really good, um, and the first one 
had really good perspective shot. Because, like, okay, let's be real. If you want to judge, um, if you want to judge the Pacific Rim movies, let's only judge the action, right? That's more or less the only important parts of the Pacific Rim. <laughs> sure, yes. Well, so, more or less the only important parts. The other parts are fun and enjoyable and make it a better experience. But the action is the important part, right? The problem is, in the first Pacific Rim, every single shot is set up from a perspective that makes the action either really impactful or really big. Like, every shot looks like it's from a human on the ground or is, like, following the fist and stuff like that, you know? In the second movie, they made it a lot more... Power Rangers? Yeah, I understand what you mean. Where the camera doesn't really exist, you know, and you not you and so it just really kind of took away from the impact of a lot. It would of the be action. the same scale as if two people, like a two person human sized fight scene. Yeah. 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 Like it's the and same. It just, and yeah. the camera like flies around in like unrealistic ways and stuff like that. Like that's the thing, is like even when the camera was like up in the air in the first movie or something, it would move in such a way that's realistic. Yeah. You know? It's kind of Zack Snyder. Where things are just kind of bouncing around. Yeah, I'm I'm not super familiar with Zack Snyder, but yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> just good. good. <laughs> um, Alex, who would you drift with? Oh, and that's out not, of the and S&T that's cast. Not a youth. Out of the S and T yeah. cast. S and T. Is that us? S and T. Show and tell. Show and tell. All right, we can't do saddle, saddle or and S and T. Yeah, you gotta pick one. <laughs> well, sometimes I do S ampersand T L, but then if I say it, I typically do saddle. saddle. I don't know. I, I do it both ways. I don't know. Who cares? You know what it is. I've heard it both ways. Um, who would you I do? Saddle. saddle I say S and T. I don't know. I mean saddle. Dan. Saddle. Dan probably would hate that whole experience. What is drifting? So, in Pacific Rim, it takes okay. two pilots to pilot a Jaeger. Oh, okay. You have to mentally connect with the other person, and that is known as drifting. Oh, I'd be terrible at that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to enter each other's minds, essentially. The Shoddy guys? Dan, Dan would probably suck at it Shoddy. and or hate it, so I wouldn't drift with Dan. Um... You could do it Steve, with Steve, I think, is too much of a wild card. Dom would probably be really good at drifting. I would say probably either Dom or Max I would be fine with. Yeah. yeah. All right, bad movies. What's your bad movie you like? Yeah. Um... Serendipity count? <laughs> I, I very much <laughs> But he like... actually just hates it. I actually... Oh, wait, yeah, you just hate <laughs> it. Oh, uh, what's it? Uh, what was Practical Magic, the other movie we watched? I like that movie. It's not like it's not like I'm going to defend, like, you know, go to bat for it, though. Um, I just thought it was enjoyable. Uh, what bad movie do I really like? Um... Alien? I'm kidding. Jokes? How dare you. Jokes. How... Jokes. Joke. No, jokes. Jokes. Please. Please, dare please you. no. You, you go. You go. I, I can't. Um... Hmm. What is check. what is a bad movie that I like? What is a bad movie? What is a bad movie? But what it is a bad but movie? What is a bad movie? Um, I have to look at my top fifty. Let's That's what I'm doing. Because there's well. definitely at least five. I, on there. Dan, I don't have one of those. Dan made a top fifty list, and then I really like movies, so I decided to make one as well. I could never. I could probably do something similar with games. Honestly, the the, pro yeah. the thing is, they're but also they're also movies. in order. It's not just. 50. Yeah, yeah I, know, I, know, I know. Okay, I know. I know. Sure I could never. I could maybe do that with games. Oh, National Treasure? 100%. It's, National Treasure is But honestly, good. I don't even think it's a bad movie. I think... I don't know. I haven't seen it in a really long it's time. It's definitely not, like, a masterpiece. Uh -huh. but oh, it's, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I this is... Say it's a good so, one. I don't know if Pacific Rim really counts, but this one definitely does, because this is actually a guilty pleasure movie of mine, is the Nick Cage Ghost Rider movie. Oh, I, I genuinely <laughs> really enjoy that movie, and it's pretty terrible. <laughs> um, at least a cop-out one is like... Well, mm, I was about to say probably a lot of the tr the prequel trilogy of Star Wars. People like those now. Yeah, people it's like ever since, like them ever, now. Yeah, it's cool to like them. Ever since um, the, the sequel trilogy came out, everyone is totally okay with the prequels. Which, like, okay... Fuck the Star Wars fandom, honestly. Yeah, like, that shit is so dumb. People yeah. hated the prequel trilogy until the new sequel trilogy came out. So screw think, all you Fairweather fans. Yeah, like, I think some people still probably dislike them a lot, but... Maybe, yeah. Um... I can't think 
can't I can't think I can't think of one. I can't think of one. One that you would consider. Every movie well, on I my think, top uh, fifty list I consider a good movie. Well yeah, of course because yeah, you think that you, exactly. you think that you, you like them so you don't think that they're bad. No you need more I, stuff. I know there's movies where it's like, yeah, I liked it, but like I didn't necessarily think it was good. I really enjoyed the the first of the new Star Trek movies. I haven't seen the second one. I think there are only two, right? Of what? Uh, the new Star Trek movies. Uh, uh, there's Into Darkness, and then there's uh, Escape the Darkness. Which is like the... <laughs> That's not is it really I don't know what this... The, right, it's uh, Into Darkness, I don't know what the second one yeah, is called. So the, the, one with the, Khan. the first one, uh, Into Darkness, I really enjoyed. I thought that was a really fun one. The second one, I don't know, I haven't seen it. Oh, there is a third one, apparently. Oh, wow. Um, but, fun fact is, um, so I had an astronomy, I think I told you guys, I had an astronomy class in high school that, at a planetarium. Um, and so, in the planetarium, they have to turn out the lights and um, turn on the planetarium. And in order to adjust your eyes, they turn out the lights slowly. Um, so, what the teacher would do is he, as he was like dimming the lights it's like on an automatic switch where it just dims them over the course of like five minutes mm -hmm. he would set the planetarium so it's just constantly spinning and then play the theme song from the first star trek movie oh, wow. <laughs> and it was the best experience every week wow. it was so fun it was so it was cool really really cool. it was so so rad and every time i listen to that song now i can just like totally chill out and just like close my eyes and like see stars and just oh it's uh, such a good time sometimes me and my family i think we only did this like a very small number of times like just a couple times mm -hmm. we do the imax right and um uh, the, in the beginning, they have like this thing where they like they have like the voiceover and they're like talking about like what the IMAX does or whatever. And it was so intense that uh, I would get scared as a kid and I would like need to like walk out of the theater and then I would like come back in because it was like too intense because they were like showing what it could do and they had like the thunder going. It was too scary. Mm -hmm. Now I kind of really want to try and go back. Um, I feel like I would probably. I, I feel like I wouldn't want to go see just like. A dumb movie, but I feel like if there was a, like a cool movie to go yeah. and see, that I, I would want to do it. I've never seen anything in IMAX, yeah, uh, or been in an IMAX theater. IMAX kind of can be really yeah. fun. It can be really cool depending on what movie you're watching. I, mu I must have been like 11 the last time I went. Yeah, I probably so. I would try it, but yeah, you would oh, have to see I, something blockbuster. I went for well, no, I went for a field trip to see. Uh, it was just this um like documentary about the hubble space telescope mm. but they showed like legitimate like 3d images where they would like zoom in and take you through space in imax and it was one of the dopest experiences of my life i wish that i could find out what that documentary was and go try to watch it in an imax again because it was so so rad like it was space all around, like you were flying through space in an IMAX theater, it was right. so dope. Yeah. But to yeah. that extent, I would really love to see something like Interstellar in IMAX. That would be really yeah. cool, you know, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. I think yeah. if there's something with really uh, yeah, cool visuals, I would do it. Yeah, I'd do also, Toonwit said, astronomy teacher did something similar with Pink Floyd. I actually don't like Pink Floyd. Oh. I don't know about you guys, I'm, but I am I'm, not a fan I of I only Floyd. know like the few popular songs, but I haven't really... I can't get into it. For my aesthetic, it felt important for me to get into Pink Floyd <laughs> yeah. in college. And I don't really listen to them anymore. I enjoy what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, Kath asks, how much of your body would you cybernetically enhance if possible? Probably, probably just arms and legs. I think probably none, which is maybe. Did you say I said nuts? Like, <laughs> probably just I nuts. Your nuts. I would have robo nuts. It would be that beat in the movie where they kick the guy in the nuts and it just. Cling! Like... <laughs> <laughs> Give me the old nuts and bolts there, Doc. Oh, man. Uh... No, I would probably do arms and legs. I think it would be really cool to run at like 60 miles per hour. I'd probably just do my arms. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like if you mess up your legs, I don't know. I feel like I'd be worried. That I would gonna rather mess up, mess up you know? my legs than my arms. I think I would do. But I would go with both. I would do none, which is maybe. Um, I don't know if that means that I appreciate what I have now or I don't appreciate what I have now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I would do none. Yeah. You're like that 
dumbass that doesn't buy the new iPhone as soon as it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eyes, ears, and heart. I, I mean, that, that makes so sense. I, I totally get what you're going for there. Yeah. I personally feel like I'm just fine if those things aren't okay. I mean, I won't be fine if my heart's not okay, obviously. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, I guess it's just a matter of, like, like, the question really relies on how much, how reliable the cybernetic te technology is supposed to be. Because, like, obviously we're talking, like, futuristic, like, cybernetic enhancements. So, like, if it is 100% reliable, then, yeah, sure, probably, like, my heart, too. Just because then that's one less thing to worry about. Yeah. Maybe my liver, I so I can a... drink as much as I want. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a good point of, like, like, being concerned about, like, eyesight eventually going, like, as uh -huh. you get older, then, like, maybe that. Um, yeah, but... My glasses are my whole aesthetic. I can't. Yeah, true. Well, you could just wear like you know fake lenses. Yeah, and then when I get exposed, mm. I'll, <laughs> I'll be ashamed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled. Yeah. How or has doing a saddle changed you or changed your perception of something? That's a good question. Uh oh. Yeah, I mean it's what been a year yeah. and a half. So I mean. I don't know if I can speak for the group, but I think that... I'm going not, to anyway. <laughs> well, I'm going to speak for myself, but I feel like it's possible that you guys will relate to this. Okay. Um, in terms of life outside of like what we do in show and tell, not very much. In terms of like perception or perspective. In terms of like daily routine and like my lifestyle, yeah, obviously very much because like I've dedicated, we've all dedicated so much to putting on show and tell and doing so much for it. Um, but I would say the one thing that has really changed is sort of my perspective and perception of other improv and like improv that's out there. And especially like at, like seeing online because like we started show and tell a little bit before the pandemic really hit and quarantine happened and so we were sort of starting to piece it together and then every everything got locked down everywhere and then all of a sudden online improv was everywhere because every improv troupe or studio or theater or whatever was doing their improv shows online but show and tell gave us a really good perspective of being like looking at those shows and being like we do it differently and in a lot of ways like oh well i much prefer what we do to what they're doing in this case or this case or whatever and to an extent that also includes like just improv in general where like i can see other improv shows and be like okay well we do it differently but i mean i think because i was doing improv for four or five years before show and tell it like improv has impacted my life a lot but then show and tell hasn't impacted my perception of life a lot outside of it because i already had that improv perception you know yeah. so that's my answer i don't know how much you guys agree with that um i think on a very practical way um i graduated college and then um pretty much like or I guess like right as I was like about to start to graduate college is when I got into um, when we kind of like started. Mm -hmm. in general, it was like right after yeah. you graduated. Yeah. Um, so looking at life after college, I was um, I didn't really necessarily care about where I went. Being in Philly would have been cool because I have friends here and whatnot, um, and I like Philadelphia, but I wasn't necessarily cemented here. Um, and then once I had show and tell, uh, that kind of changed because um, it has been such a big part of my life. Definitely agree with that. And I kind yeah. of realized like, oh man, like I really, really want to stay in Philadelphia. And it doesn't mean that like I would never move away from Philadelphia, but it definitely shifted my priorities um, in that way. Um, and I guess a little more of a more abstract way. Um, Alex, you said that you had been doing improv for like a long time before mm -hmm. um, show and tell. I had been doing it for just a short That's amount true. of time That's true. before I started. Um, and I think being able to um, be here was a really good outlet, not just for me being able to do like improv and, and, and performance and like being able to enjoy it, but also if I had um, things that I wanted to do that were out there 
like when I did the um, role-playing game stream, um, you know, being able to just have like this weird idea and like it was just such a it's such yeah. a good um, place because we can really do like whatever we want because um, like we're all good performers and we're like willing to roll with whatever. Yeah, you guys have no idea how much of our private group chat is just like, guys, I have this random <laughs> bullshit idea. Let's do something like this, you well, know? And it's not even like, hey, let's do it in a week or a month. It's just like, hey, at some point, let's do this bullshit idea. And like, we have like Google Docs for it and stuff like that, but we still just constantly are like messaging each other and just being like, guys, this is a stupid thing that I thought of and we should do it. And people are like, yeah, that's cool. Um, I don't know when we're ever yeah, gonna right. do that, but it sounds cool. I mean, the thing is, is that we have so many ideas that we're like, oh, this would be great, and we're all excited for it. And then we're like, but all five of us need to be in the same yeah, place to it do it. Yeah, it really is. We only realized, it was only like at the beginning of 2020 when we were like, wait, we can push and do other stuff. And then when we only got like two months yeah. into rolling it, yeah. then we're like, oh. Yeah. Because it was like the beginning of 2020 when we really started doing um, Tuesday streams, which were like our variety night. Yeah. Um, so that's when we were starting to be like, okay, let's think of literally anything that you could do with just in a room pointing a camera at us mm -hmm. with some help of, you know, some technological stuff. And honestly, our original concept for Tuesday streams was just like a board game night where we yeah. were just going to play a bunch of different board games and like role playing games and stuff like that. Um, but so we kind of were like, okay, well, we'll call it just a variety show because we'll just do a variety of different board games and then it, we want to do something similar, you know, like other games and stuff like that. And then it kind of branched off into like, how can we do other things I think, yeah. that are stuff like 60 Minute Madness, yeah. I think you know, the second we realized that was when we did... Absent? absent? Yeah, I was thinking that <laughs> Yeah, <too. laughs> absent, re absent really kicked it off for yeah. us. Yeah. There are some people in chat that don't know what absent is. Which is sad. So. But, I mean, it is on YouTube. Yeah. And we are sort of planning on performing it. Possibly. And doing another absent. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, essentially, for those of you that don't know, Dan wrote a screenplay when he was 15 years old. And then he dug it up and found it didn't read any of it and we had our friend Shane direct it and we live shot the entire movie. We had some other friends who were uh, who have been show and tell cast members in the past come on and do it. Um, and yeah, there were what eight of, us? eight of us? There were eight of us that just put together this movie that was a screenplay oh written God. by 15 year old Dan. Yeah, so bad. And it was so bad, but it was so funny. And it was such a blast. Yeah. Everyone in chat was having an amazing time. We were having an amazing time. It was such a good, it was yeah. just a really good time. But yeah, like to your point, it really opened us up to be like, we can do anything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like we, we did that and we were just like, let's just do shit. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm excited for when we can all, uh, you are absent for absent, that's, I mean it is on it, our YouTube which should be starting to pop up with we more bots soon, YouTube. Uh, we do have the full, phone um, locked. slightly edited version of absent there, uh, and the thing is, the thing that I think about absent that is so funny to me, is I think if you do exclamation point YouTube, our YouTube channel will pop up if yeah. you need the link. Or I think it's like down below, but yeah. For, for all intents and purposes, we <laughs> made a feature film <laughs> yeah. that day because yeah. it's- Live it's, in it's, one it's, night. It's, we did it. I'm like, cause all I do is edit together. So uh -huh. there's no like whatever. So yeah. like the story's there, it's long enough to qualify. Yeah, yeah. It's in the correct medium. Like for all intent, uh, like for someone that's looked at a lot of festivals and like the definitions, it fits all the definitions yeah, yeah. of being a feature film. It was so such a we blast. technically made one. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we took a, a script and we performed it. And like, so. we are, like Dan said, we are considering doing it again. We are considering mm -hmm. making it a yearly thing, where every year we'll come back and redo mm -hmm. Absent and maybe yeah. try to do it a little bit better, and or a little bit worse. Yeah, a little bit of both. <laughs> Probably both. A little bit of both. A uh, yeah. little bit of both. Um, but yeah, it was oh it was such a good time. I, I like this AMA. It's how do you guys uh, get past the stage uh, stage fright slash social anxiety of performing in front of so many people? 
Which is an interesting question. Yeah. Because we're not performing in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's. I a, mean, Dan and I have. Yeah, that's the thing. There's but, an yeah. interesting. But this is very different. Dynamic here, where because everybody else in the on the show was on an improv team that mm -hmm. like would go and do staged performances of improv quite yeah. regularly. Yeah. So and you we all... had like usually like 150 people. Yeah, watching. we had yeah. we had anywhere like, between 100 and 200 people. It was, yeah, I would always show. attend. Yeah, yeah. they, they were yeah. quite quite well attended. Yeah. So it's like kind of interesting. Which for those of you that don't know is insane yeah. attendance for, for an improv for show. For a college improv. improv for an improv show in general. Yeah. But for a yeah, college yeah. improv show Getting in the double digits is impressive, yeah. and we got to triple digits. Yeah. So yeah, it was for, incredible. for us, it was more like figuring out the awkwardness of not exactly in front of people. exactly. That like, was for the four of us. But then Max, what was what was your? Experience yeah, so like? it was interesting because I had I had some uh, experience of just like doing a class that was just like in uh, like a, a room with like a small number of people, like probably like mm -hmm. 20 people or something. So it was very similar when I went here and was doing it because it was largely just like a small number of people mm -hmm. doing improv just like to themselves and kind of just like enjoying it. So I felt pretty uh, comfortable with the fact that we were just like in a room doing improv to no one. It, it didn't feel that weird to me. Um, there was a little bit of being like, oh man, there's people watching at the start. But after a couple um, weeks, uh, I, I like, I don't know, I, I, I guess I got used to it. Yeah. I think, um, I mean, I obviously have to go back further than show and tell live to come up with an answer for your question. But in terms of getting over that initial like stage fright, God, I mean, I've, duh, I, I think I just kind of sort of slowly built up to it but I did it I started it at such a young age because I just like I, like the first thing I can really remember doing that would be like public performing would be um I did uh I would read like sermons in church uh I, I went to a catholic middle school and so they would have some of us middle schoolers do like the gospel readings or something like that and so I would volunteer to do those um, and I would do the readings and then people would be like, oh, you were so good. And I'm like, thanks. It's I, I like doing this, you know, and so it was more and more. But I think like, you know, even before that, it was like just kids on the playground, like playing in front of each other. And like it, it, it's sort of this weird buildup of like the more you get used to just being uh, like outward in front of other people in general whatever you're doing whether you're teaching them something whether you're pretending something whatever it might be that sort of builds its way up yeah. um and for some people they they like that feeling you know and so they chase that feeling like that's what it was for me was i was like okay well how can i do more to perform in front of people and what else can i do mm -hmm. even though I was never a theater kid in school. It was really stupid on my part because I yeah. probably should have been because I wanted the attention. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I was I was not a theater kid. Um, but uh, you know, it was kind of that feeling of like wanting to do those kind of experiences. Uh, yeah. So, do you still get nervous when you perform? Honestly, for me, I have. So when when I was younger, I only started doing theater like my sophomore year of high school, and. I, the only reason why I waited that long is because I had terrible stage fright mm. and I, I don't even know how I really powered through it, but I just wanted to do it and I think still to this day I have just as much stage fright as I did then. Oh yeah. The whole time through doing our college team, the whole mm -hmm. time through doing all my shows, whenever I had to do public well, speaking, but I'm just Here's the scared. question, do you feel it at all when you're on stage performing? So, when, when we would do improv, it would be literally right as you're there, and then like, the second, the second it's going, it like, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, because like, that's how it used to be yeah. for me too, you know, is you get like, you get the kind of nerves that build up. And I think even, especially with like our improv shows in person, even still in college, I had already been doing public, a whole kind of like public speaking and stuff like that. But you still like, you get nerves of just wanting to perform well and put on a good show even. Like you're going to get nerves for that. So you get these nerves that build up and build up. And then as soon as you walk out and start doing it, the nerves are just 
gone immediately, like just completely disappear. And for some people, that's not true. For some people, the nerves get way worse as soon as they realize people are watching and then they freeze up. So there's kind of like two opposites that you can go, you know? I think I'm both. I think oh, really? With, I think with, I, you don't I, freeze no, no, up though. No, no, no. I think with improv, uh -huh. I don't. But if I'm doing scripted content, I do. Really? Well, it depends because when I did sketch comedy, it didn't uh -huh. happen. Yeah, right. I think it, yeah, and you've yeah. done it quite a no, bit. No, no, no. I think when I'm when I'm performing, I'm not. But when I did, I, I, uh, for when we graduated for film, I hosted the the senior show, oh, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, and introduced yeah. the films and stuff. But yeah. I'm not like playing a character, and I was nervous right. the entire time. Right. Oh, You're really? just like, oh, yeah, wait a minute, yeah, yeah. myself? <laughs> I don't yeah, no, be I myself. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like that. The second I'm myself in front of people, no. But the second I'm a performer in front of people, it's nervous up to the point, and uh -huh. then I forget about well, it. Well, but right. what about like plays? So you're you're fine with like plays? If it's yeah, okay, uh, probably. I assume that would like fall under the same yeah, yeah. sketch comedy. Style. Um, also, a Caro, uh, not sure if there's any context behind any of your Star Wars comments or questions. But hello, welcome. If you yeah. want to ask us questions about Star Wars, feel free. <laughs> Dan has Dan doesn't know anything about it, but you know, uh, hey, we'll get there. BB-8 was voiced hey. by Bill Hader. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is it difficult uh, or easier uh, to be on a stream of five people instead of a single streamer? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, it comes yes with the right answer. It, it is seriously the right answer, though. It comes with certain unique challenges and advantages. Uh, there are definitely points where we have talked to each other about how we are so, and talked on stream, where we feel like we are so grateful and so lucky that we can sort of share the load with each other and build this together. Um, you know, show and tell would not be nearly what it was if it wasn't the five of us coming up with the ideas for it that we have had. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, there are those challenges of like organizing and getting five people together to do stuff. And like, I, I mean, it's hard enough to try to build a stream, a normal stream schedule around one person's schedule, but then building it around five people's schedules yeah. is really hard. Um, but even more than just scheduling of just like, you know, making sure that like we all have to be present, you know, and mentally as well. So like if one of us is having an off day, then that could, uh, you know, that could be more difficult for the rest because we're sort of like in tune with each other, you know, then like that could the rest of us can feel that. And like, I think we do a decent job of like picking up on that and then being able to sort of compensate, but it's still definitely difficult where like, it's hard for those of you who have never streamed before. It's, it's hard to be a streamer. Like you really have to put a lot of energy and effort into it. And so for five of us doing it, you know, it's, you know what I mean. Well, I know. I'm not being like, I know. Oh, I just think, poor us. It I know. is just I mean, so, so hard. Actually, I guess yeah. that point but like, is kind of is. interesting. Cause I, I think all of us have done solo streams at some point or another, mm -hmm. oh, and I hate it. it is way harder to <laughs> do I a solo it. stream because yeah. you just have to like talk and bullshit and kind of say nothing for the entire time that you're <laughs> doing whatever you're doing, and it's way it's difficult. Mm -hmm. But when you have multiple people in the same room, it actually is a lot easier to like have people to actually play off of. Like yeah. I think. Probably it depends on the stream that you're doing. Yeah. With this stream specifically, it's 100% way easier that we have five regular crew members that we're all playing, that we mm -hmm. all get to come and, yeah. and do. And honestly, our time. stream is made infinitely easier when chat interacts with us too. Like, it 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 would be monumentally <laughs> more difficult, even with five of us, to do what we do without the chat that we have and yeah. the community that we have kind of yeah. tried to build up along. We were like reminiscing, I don't know, a little bit recently where when we didn't have people really watching, we would have to use this shitty suggestion app on our phone. <laughs> it's such a bad we app. To, we essentially tried to play a game oh, like yeah. 10,000 blanks, uh -huh. um, but it, it would be this app that would give us suggestions to be able to give us enough suggestions that we could play the game and it was not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, the, the app tried to be too smart where it wouldn't just give you like generic words which are usually better yeah. for suggestions where it would try to be like, huh, a vampire who recently decided to go on a diet. And it's like, yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah. I mean, it's fun for scenes to get suggestions like that. 
Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> but also the app had a pretty limited pool of suggestions yeah. Yeah, that it pulled from. Ran through them all in like a month. Yeah. And very We've quickly. Seen Half of them would just be like things you would say to your dentist, but not your girlfriend. Yeah. And we're like. We're better than this. Yeah. We're better than this, We're exactly. Than this. And sometimes the suggestions just wouldn't even make sense. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. But honestly, as someone who has made apps, that like that's fair. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Tumwit uh, asked what we're most excited for oh, yeah. once uh, Corona has kicked the bucket. I honestly... We have so many really cool ideas for different streams that we want to do when we're getting back in person Like mm -hmm. we are going to get full force try to get as productive as possible yeah. But the thing I'm most excited for is just our improv shows I'm just yeah. really pumped to do our in-person improv shows again. I think that yeah, Not only not only is doing in-person improv way more fun But also some of the stuff that we have planned of like the changes and improvements that we're trying to do I think it's gonna be really cool. I can't wait yeah, we're already going through a lot of the troubleshoots of how to make it all work because we've sort of talked about how we can't go back to doing what we did before before quarantine mm -hmm. because we've changed it so much. So we're making like a 3.0 version that combines both and it's we're trying to do a lot and we'll see we'll yeah. see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see. We've got we've got plans. It's in the works. So <laughs> Namely interrogation. Yeah, interrogation yeah. was very fun. I know. Hon yeah, honestly, I just want to play fucking Onion again. Like, <laughs> oh, Onion's a fun one. Uh, one, yeah. one that I'm really looking forward to is Double Blind Freeze. I was just gonna I say love that. Double Blind Double Freeze. Blind Freeze is just a high yeah. energy physical game. I just so, doing yeah. those physical games again are going to be such a blast. Yeah, it's we, been a we're while. We're missing all of our workouts. We haven't True. worked yeah, out. Yeah, we're so. all just flabby losers now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than watching the five of you dance around and acting around each other. Exactly, yeah. right? That's yeah. the one thing that our current shows are really missing is the physicality. It always ends up on the floor. Double uh, Light Freeze <laughs> always ends up on the yeah. floor. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. with our Friday shows we do now, like, I like I like the word games and the pun games and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, when we do a whole show of them, it gets very mentally draining. And is. I'm like, I want to physically drain yeah. myself. Exactly. You know? I, I remember, at, like... It, the, at the end of shows now, we kind of sit back and we're like, all right, good show. That was, you know, we were putting a lot out there mentally. But at the end of our physical shows, our in-person shows, it was just like, <sighs> good show, guys. <laughs> good job. I think there's like a dual effect because like, yeah, we were like super tired, but we were also like, you still, you you have it kind of still I mean, in yeah, you. Yeah, you still kind of feel like, it. Like it takes a while to like come down tired, from that. But sure. you like still but, like have it in you. But you still got a better night's sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Cass, I, you'll see us soon. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. we're going to be uploading a lot of our vods, pretty much all of our vods to yep, YouTube. That is in the so, works. oh yeah, if yeah. If you subscribe to YouTube, you can see even like the earliest of. Uh, <laughs> of what we did in person. Audio is terrible. Video is not no, too good. Down. What do you? Oh, I'm trying to scroll down to the bottom. There you thought go. it was an <laughs> inverse scroll, Alex? I, no, I just I went down and it looked like it went oh, up. Okay. I got confused. Yeah. The color mugs. Yeah. yeah the mugs. The mugs? Yeah. The mugs? Question them mark. Here? Yeah, I brought them over. Oh wow. Uh, you can hear them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thanks for the follow. I'm looking forward to it. Who followed? Uh, I think I missed it. Oh, it was the person spamming yes. Star Wars stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, these are our colored mugs. These are our colored mugs. Uh, so uh, anytime. Oh, is it? No, no it, it no, looks you're good. yellow. It's, this yeah, is it's green. Brighter. It's green. Anytime. Uh, anytime we have uh, the the subs or the follows or the you know anything like that, and you see the little pop-up animation of all of us. We're all in our colored shirts. Yes. Those are our like assigned show and tell colors. I mean, yeah. you see it kind of in our shows too with like our backgrounds and the banter screen and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Yellow and blue are now broken. Yes. Uh, because they couldn't come to this stream, we have decided to smash their mugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
Look at this. Uh, Do you guys remember feels this? Feels good. Yeah, this, does everyone okay. remember how heated we got over this that is, mug? This is a mug with a massive fucking handle. It's, it's more like, handle than mug. It honestly. really is more handle than mug. <laughs> I, I will say, you, I am a little like, disappointed at how small the mug is, but I'm very satisfied just, like, with how large the handle mm, is. You, okay, so you know how normally, shit like this. We we talk about this yeah. so much. Too yeah. small. We're like too small. Too because small. I can I can only too put small. like I can only put like three fingers in there at most. This bad boy. This one. You Not just... too small. Whole but hand. How's yours? Fits oh, yours is just perfect. Like... I mean the whole no, the whole can, point only... the whole point perfect. of this thing is that it's an ergonomic mug. Yeah. Right. It's supposed to feel really good in your hand, and yeah. honestly, it does. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. Um, oh, the the, the Susan picture. Was here. Yeah. Yeah. Was here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it looks like a vice grip. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's intense. <laughs> I want to watch the Christmas episode again, either to confirm uh, or deny Alex's recollection of the original. Uh, if it oh, happens, yeah. if we, if the footage happened to be corrupted or redacted, <laughs> that does not have. You'll to... see us. You'll see us naming Brico and that specific part of it. It'll just go Dreadlord, and then yeah. it'll cut back yeah. in, yeah. <laughs> and you'll never know. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, honestly, I I haven't even looked at it yet. Like we we ourselves don't even know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely excited for in person shows. Yeah. 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 It's don't get me wrong. Don't get us wrong. It's still a ways out. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're not we're not saying this because we're going to be doing it in. Um, yeah, it's months. not happening this Friday. It's it's a while we want out, to... but we'll get there eventually. And Alex is actually green screened in right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, he is here. But um, last, last day, day I, from each of you, what's your best piece of advice to people who want to be online content creators? Ooh. That's uh, an interesting one. Figure out what kind of content you want to do first, like. And I don't just mean like, you know, oh, well, I want to do an art stream or, oh, I want to, but like figure out, do you want to do a stream? Do you want to do videos? Do you want it to be highly edited? Do you want it to be unedited? Like kind of think through that and you don't have to have a perfect idea for it as you go. You can kind of figure that out. Um, but it's good to have some kind of an idea of what you want to do when you start out. Um, because honestly, once you have an idea, uh, some vague idea of what you want to do, the hardest part is just starting and doing it. Mm, yeah, that's a good one. Um, I have, I have one. Um, I think, um, no, obviously, not everybody like gets into it just with the idea of like, oh, I want to be famous. But even, hey. even if that's not like the, the wh what you were thinking, um, you have to be okay with doing it for an extended period of time, and and not getting necessarily the only, I guess what I'm saying is the only satisfaction you can, you get can't only be from other people validating that you're doing a yeah. good thing. Yeah. You have to do it just because you want to do it. Because That's if really you good. are doing it because you're like, okay, I've read up and it says like, if you do, if you make like YouTube videos for a year, that's about the time that it takes to kind of like get a following. And then once I have like a little bit of a following, then I can like start getting bigger. You should only do it if you are going to enjoy doing it. Yeah. So you don't want to look back at a year of making YouTube videos or, or whatever, which is like a ton of work and then being like, I didn't really enjoy it. It was kind of just like a ton of work and I'm kind of just like really mad at it. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. Don't pay attention to the numbers. Yeah. Just at all. Like the advice that a lot of people give for if you're starting out streaming is just act like you do have an audience. Act like you do have a chat and yeah. just do like Max said, do something. And, and, and I've even heard that like for the first part that you're doing it, like you, it's probably going to be not perfect. It's mm -hmm. probably going to be bad. And you're probably going to look back at it at a certain point and be like, oh, that stuff that I was doing when I started out like was bad. Like our original stream. Yeah, yeah absolutely our like our stream. Bad. But like <laughs> after you go for a certain point, you, and if you really do enjoy it, you just want to keep doing it and you will just get better at it as you go. Like for us, I remember that the big thing for us was like, we want to do improv and like spending a Friday night just doing improv with our friends sounds like a great time. It just like, we just so happened to have turned a, a camera on and, and pointed it at us. And that's, and you know, I, I, I'm never going to regret, 
regret any any stream we do because it's mm -hmm. always just something that I want to any do. Stream. Any stream. Any <laughs> stream. Um, welcome to our regret stream. <laughs> I, mean, I think uh, honestly, for content let's do a regret that's, stream. Uh, <laughs> I think for content that also isn't specifically for Twitch. Something that I figured out in film school is to make content that you would want to watch or consume. Mm -hmm. um, especially when there were people making films, uh, especially when I was making films. I There's a certain point where it's just like, make the kind of thing that you would want to watch. Um, and I think that applies to everything because you shouldn't try to predict what other people will like. Make something you will like, and because you're a human, there will be other humans that will like it and will also yeah. watch it. Yeah. And it's at a certain you, point where you are you will get the most reward out of that because at the end of the day, at least you can watch your own stuff and like yeah. it. Yeah. You, know? you want you want an easy and free way to improve the quality of your content that you're putting out? Enjoy what you're doing. Because honestly, it is an audience will absolutely pick up on if you are enjoying what you're doing and if you are there it's human nature to enjoy that more themselves yeah like we could be doing mukbang streams and getting thousands of views but we wouldn't god. enjoy that god no <laughs> yeah I, I just hate the word mukbang alone let it alone feels, the concept it feels intentionally disgusting yeah it's so bad how do people enjoy that? Anyways. Yeah, who would ever enjoy that? Uh. <laughs> uh. Do you watch mukbangs? Anyway. Answer honestly. <laughs> do you watch mukbangs? We have this lie know. detector <laughs> test. <laughs> this is an AMA, and my question <laughs> of, of is, do you watch mukbangs? No. <laughs> Dan! <laughs> AMA plus lie detector? Yeah, see, motion that's designs are lying That'd detector. That'd be fun. That's motion special. designs are lying detector, yeah, and he yeah. said, I'm good. Yeah, that's not um, bad. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much... Yeah, you just gotta There's like... There's our advice. You gotta, Have fun you gotta with like it. what you're doing. Also, we don't know shit, so... Yeah, also, we don't know shit. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're only going to get so much useful advice from asking people that are doing it, and you'll learn just as much, if not more, by just doing it yourself. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I've ever been a streamer, but... I'd maybe like to make art or pet care videos, but I also feel nervous about it. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. totally. Again, with if that's stuff that you would want to watch, then do it. I yeah. mean, like obviously your, um, I don't know, charisma if you're on camera or your technical abilities like mm -hmm. will just get better with time. But the content's still the content. Yeah. So. And I mean, you know do what you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable being in front of a camera, then do, you know, some kind of over the shoulder shot or just some, just a screen cap if you're doing digital stuff or something yeah. like that. And then just put music on in the background, you know, like there's no wrong answer. There's nothing that like, oh, you need to have this. You need to be on camera. You need to show your face, you know, like yeah. you can just do what you're comfortable with and do what you enjoy. I'm imagining like a makeup tutorial, but no one's on camera. <laughs> Uh, I would, I would, like honestly, a, that would a be A voice funny. modulator? Yeah. <laughs> now apply the foundation. Alright everyone, now imagine that I'm putting on this eyelash, <laughs> but not too thick. You want to make sure it still looks believable or it'll they, start clumping up. <laughs> they have like a ski mask on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, that would be good content. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's do it. There's we, another, there's another idea for one of our streams. I write it down, put it on the dock. Witness, protect, yeah. witness protection makeup tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Perfect. Uh, it is, it is 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Just about 10 o'clock. Oh, I don't we have to go. You <laughs> block pixels, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we just we just gave advice. It feels like a good cathartic it, end. It does. Kind of, Let's yeah, get it's one kind of like a awesome. light loose. Yeah, one well, light and loose. Yeah, it's a light and loose light question. Give us a light and loose question to end it on. <laughs> now. Now. Do now, it now. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> give us the questions. Uh, uh, well, now tell me, who <laughs> proves Ken Solo? Where is who even baby? is that? Are they just like giving us their Star Wars fanfic one line at a time? Maybe. That's the question. That's ah, the question, yeah, Alex. Yeah. Uh, do 
more Thanks AMAs. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just, just Dom just and chilling. Steve are unavailable. Uh, unavailable. Unavailable. <laughs> At a candlelit <laughs> dinner together. <laughs> Thoughts on cats? Um, uh, I'm upset that we have to ask, when you say cats, do you mean the 19, 2019 no, movie? No, I don't think it like means the movie. Otherwise, it's cats, parentheses. Like them both. <laughs> okay, quick thoughts on cats, and then we'll end it on how did you pick your colors. Uh, the movie... Uh, uh, sh uh, abomination. Mm -hmm. Tom Hooper's let me down. Animal. Uh, uh, they're so cute, but damn, they're monsters. At least the <laughs> two that I have. Um, okay. Uh, movie. I actually kind of had fun. I never want to watch it again, though. Um, creatures. Uh, they're cute. I probably would never own one myself. Um, Alex. Um, yeah. Uh, the movie just horrid confusing, uh, had fun, but only because I wasn't really paying attention and we were just kind of cracking jokes the whole time. <laughs> um, the creatures, I'm way more of a dog person. I would never actually own a cat, but I don't hate cats. I just kind of feel neutral about them. Okay. That's fair. Um, uh, how did we pick our colors? I remember so, Dom was going to the AC Moore to mm -hmm. like pick up some, uh, Shirts for yeah. our it was for the photo shoot that we we're didn't doing, we already right? pick the colors well no we picked the, we yeah. picked the colors first because we got sizes of the shirts specifically for well, our colors I feel like I rem well I'm not no because sure. we were like Steve what size are you Dan what size are you Max what size are you and then we went and got the shirts of that because remember there were no large red shirts at oh, the AC okay. Moore that Dom went to so I had to go get my own red shirt okay. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. you wore it inside out. For our photo shoot. I think it was yeah. just, like, colors that we vibed with anyway. It okay. was, yeah, like, it was kind of a group decision I'm, where I'm, people kind of dibsed it, but then also we were like, oh, I see you as that color. I'm not trying to be contentious here. Mm -hmm. The way I remember it, I was like, I'm down for any color, just mm -hmm. not lime green. And I got green. <laughs> That's how you, I remember I, it. Well, I don't remember you saying That's any of that. I don't remember you it. not liking it. Yeah. I don't. Di I didn't. I. I don't currently dislike my color. It's just wouldn't have been my first pick. Hmm. I've grown to love it. I think, I think you were like, I'll take any color, and we all specifically wanted a color, yeah, so you just okay. sort of got... Yeah, because I remember, yeah. so the way it kind of worked out was like, there were a couple of us that were like, like I know Steve was like, I'll take red or blue, and then uh, Dan, I think you were like, I'll take, what did you say, like purple, purple well, or purple's blue my favorite or something color, like that, yeah. But I also didn't care that much. Yeah, um, and I was like, okay, well I kind of want red. Um, yeah, we are basically the Wiggles. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, we just kind of it just kind of worked out, and then the people that definitely didn't say that they had any colors that they disliked, but just said that they had they didn't have a preference, got green. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and, and I've been and I've been brooding for years. Yeah, <laughs> silently plotting uh, and this my is revenge. Your, this is your resignation stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's been great. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, great. great. It's really good. All right. Um, I I uh, foreshadowed earlier that I'd be moving out of Philadelphia. This yep. is it. Anyways, Goodbye, everybody. Uh, Starting this week, uh, Anya will be taking Max's place <laughs> forever. Well, Yay! we'll see. It might be Susan. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Max. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah, surprise, Susan. You're Max's replacement. Yeah. Uh, surprise. Uh, the pay is good, Susan. So. <laughs> yeah, our... Uh, firm handshakes. <laughs> yeah. Our pay and firm as handshakes. As many firm handshakes as you could possibly ask. I mean, you are uh, vegan. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Let's end it on this. What? what are our favorite bits? Or some of our favorite bits that like we remember? Because, like, one, I don't know if it's my favorite, but one that has always sticked out, stuck out for me was a year ago for Halloween when we were giving candy to each other and Dom just looked at you, Max, and said, you look like a vegan, so here's a firm handshake. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we, we said before stream, we were like, let's just do a bit in a transition where we give each other candy. You know, we do a trick or treat. And thing. I think we realized that like I wasn't gonna get anything, but yeah, we were like we said we're that. like, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Dom was like, you look like a vegan, you get a firm handshake. And I loved that. That was great. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, favorite bits. What would you guys say? Um, Susan was actually here. It's when we were in person. Shin um, kicking. No, it wasn't oh, that. I, love I probably only remember this because I was doing the YouTube videos earlier. But it's when um, uh, <laughs> we were doing double blind freeze, and Susan jumped on Steve's back, and uh, Steve was just like, "Luke, like this, I do not." <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's really solid. And when I was remaking the videos, I just like watched it over and over again. Oh my god, it was so good. Oh man, what about you, Dan? Uh, I'm trying to think of like one specifically that isn't yeah. me just saying I love PP. <laughs> uh, um, or Atomic uh, Cheetos. Atomic yeah. Cheetos. Holds yeah, radio honestly, Cheetos. honestly, I, I still think when I was so dumb, didn't know anything about OBS, and thought that I had to fade us out manually. <laughs> manually and fade us out. And my way was going into properties, moving it down 20%, <laughs> clicking out of properties, <laughs> clicking back in. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, that was and for just, that was for a Tuesday stream. Yeah, yeah. you Maybe were all the just first. yelling at me. I'm like, I'm, I'm not fading second, out was one of them, manually. Really. Yeah. yeah. Because oh, you didn't yeah. say anything, you just went up to the computer and you're like, guys, I have an idea, I got this. And we were like, okay, what are you doing? We my wanted to end idea. stream. My whole you were idea like, was a fade Yeah, off. you were like, hold on, don't end it yet, I wanna, I wanna, I'll end the stream. And we were like, okay, and we're like, <laughs> we were just about to end it, but sure, Dan. And then you're like messing around with the settings and we're like, what is he doing? And you're like, oh, no, not that. And you like change the setting or something. <laughs> like, and then you start like slowly bringing down like this little scroll wheel or whatever. And we're like, is he, is he manually fading us out? And, the whole time and then it gets like 50% opacity. And we're like, he's manually fading us out. And Dan's just like, guys, hold on. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, Dan, oh, what? this is not how you do it. And he's like, hold on. Uh. That was really Excuse good. Excuse me. That was really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, in terms of my favorite, ah, oh, it's so hard. Did you already say the handshake? Or is that not your favorite? I, I wouldn't say that's really my favorite. Or last it's cozy just one stream. that I remember a lot. Last cozy stream was a lot of fun. Yeah. I when it was the three of us. Yeah, yeah no, you were there. Was the last cozy stream? No, Steve. No, it was you two and Steve. Oh, it was Steve. Yeah, remember when we wore the wigs? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that was. Steve. And we were the Hex Girls. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Honestly, just the Hex Girls lore in our show is also a great thing. We do have a lot of Hex Girls deep. lore. Yeah. Uh, um, some trivia piece of knowledge is always classic. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I think my favorite bit was that I and Steve sort of started Squat Cops for interrogation. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. we didn't have a cameraman and the shot was stuck like this. And so to compensate, I did this bit of just Dan was sitting there and I was interrogating him by like squatting in his face. And it was like, it was twofold. For one, I was squatting to get in the frame and two, I was just doing the bit of getting in his face. And it was the first interrogation that we did. And Steve started doing squats along with me, even though he was perfectly in the frame. Holy and so we just started this bit of these two cops that would just like be squatting and just like getting in the perp's face really quick and everything. And that was just really fun that just came completely organically. But yeah. It's it's That's a funny a it's a funny one. I also like the end end the stream every time. <laughs> oh, that's such a good bit. Yeah, I didn't even really think of that because it's such a staple of the show. Yeah. But we that was completely by accident. We just kind of did that for some reason. Uh -huh. This is probably not true. Okay. But I think I was the one. I believe it. When we were doing a show where it's like, wait, we got to end the stream how we end it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely came from just a goof. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I totally believe that it yeah. was just you saying that. It might, yeah. not, it might not. I think it was somebody if it wasn't. Yeah. Just doing it. Wendigos? Wendigos. Oh, Wendigos is a, is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're over our time. Yeah, All right. right. Well, yeah. thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our AMA. Tune in next time with more questions. We'll be um, here Friday. Um, we'll be here Thursday. Thursday. Thursday? We're, we're doing, doing a Thursday? community night Thursday. What? What do yeah. we have planned? Oh, Thursday? I think we might have mentioned Gary's mod. Ooh, let's but... let's do the first one, Dan. Because um, why the hell not? Oh hell yeah. Oh Pog. Uh, just. Uh, I guess sure we're going that... to Kit Boga. Yeah, we're just gonna raid Kit Boga because that's fun. We're yeah. chatting. He's chatting. Perfect. It's a good time. Um. Thanks everybody for hanging out. 
Yeah, thanks everybody. Um, we are gonna see you Thursday. We're gonna see you Friday. Um, Monday. And, yeah, thanks, thanks everybody for just hanging out on this right. little cozy stream. Bye everybody. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Love you all. Love you. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Oh shit, Marie. Marie. <laughs> Marie. And we raided. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs>